Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> right. So we need to decide where we're going. First, let's turn on the multiplayer score list. So we can see who's coastal and who's not. I don't think we settle on turn one. I think we definitely move somewhere. Probably up onto the hill, if we can. Don't really care about losing out on the stone. And we'll get this wheat within our borders quite quickly anyway. I think hill start makes sense. So we'll move over and then go to the next turn. Oh, Mr. Jarvis says, indeed. I did back to back with Spain. One with the wonder and one without. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, the coast. Really? The coast? Come on. Is it even worth moving here? Oh, it's iced in down the bottom. Let's not worry about it. Let's just settle where we're going to go. Oh, and then we can work the wheat on production focus for the production focus trick and take a scout. Use our... Um, Pantheon, I guess we can go for pottery because I think we actually want to build a granary first up. We've got two wheat, so we can do that. Hoping we don't regret this move. I don't think we would have done. Like, if we were going to settle on the coast, it wouldn't be down here. It would have been up here and it would have been garbage, which is something we really don't want. A small one turn move to the hill is fine. I might have gone if we'd seen it on turn zero, but not now. Maybe save this ruin for a couple of turns because we might get population. Not the greatest start in the world, though. Let's take a second scout. Interesting. I mean, there could have been some coastal expansions down here, but just look at how bad these were going to be. Lots of tundra. Not a lot of resources. They might have actually been okay. Best thing we can do here with the warrior is probably just to stay put and wait. And we got two shots, I think. Oh, really? More coast? Wow. Okay. We might have screwed ourselves a little bit here by not being coastal. This always happens. Literally every time. On the main Pangaea, when you see coast on turn 0 or turn 1, you always end up with something like this. Where you get like a peninsula with coast. Oh, no pop ruin. That sucks. This is okay though. We don't have to settle coastally up here. I mean, it would be this city would be better if it was. But we don't have to. Stay safe from frigates. Going to have to work the ivory for a couple of turns until we get the wheat in range. We didn't get the best ruins here. How do we settle our regional luxury? I mean, a city down here on the coast for the copper. Probably not the worst thing ever. I imagine it's very isolated. Let's maybe go up here with a scout. Yeah, that's released us into the rest of the world. And then we can build a granary in here. Because we do have two granary resources. And we can grow a little bit before settling. It's our animal husbandry. Don't know what we do yet. I didn't even check to see who was coastal. I should have remembered. Oh well. Hmm. There's a mountain range walling us off here, which kind of defines what area of land is ours and what isn't. It's not bad. Really could do with some gold to buy this wheat, but it looks like we're not going to get it in time before the borders expand, which is a shame. I wonder if we should have gone for a shrine here. But our regional luxury is copper, and we only have one copy in the capital, which makes it really difficult to work it for the faith. At least our early production is good, though.
Okay, so maybe we have to settle on the other side of this mountain pass as well. We'll actually have to see. Because our cities would be a lot more defensible if we can stay to the the west. We'll see. Oh, Gun says, please rename Rome to Ravenloft. Okay. Ravenloft! Exclamation mark. Let's see how that goes. Here we go, Gurren. Ravenloft for you. What's the significance of Ravenloft? <laughs> it says, oh, no need for the exclamation mark. What's there now? It is Ravenloft exclamation mark. Can we ask for tribute here? Minus 20. If we got a scout over, we could actually get tribute. So let's do that. Another city state down here as well. We might even be able to tribute both of these. So it's Strahd's Castle from Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, cool. Oh, here we go. Ravenloft is now also PCJ Law's castle from Civilization 5. take this tile now and we're going to need to buy tiles for settler production we can do that one two three four five six let's go meet this other city state bogata will will be tributed so we can take that and then we can meet these city states there's biblos pledge to protect them <laughs> yeah the pcj nom emoji indeed it's nuggets and chips today we might have to be killing some city states make this land work ah oh, come on Cahokia I guess if we were to purchase a warrior that would give us some more tribute so let's do that and then we can maybe... We've got all of this growth now. We can build a, a monument or a shrine. A monument, maybe. Be nice. Don't know. I would quite like a shrine, though. But it's not like we've got enough to get us a religion out of here. Which means it's going to be difficult. Maybe go for bronze working for the spearmen. Move along. Yeah, we've revealed the rest of the coast around here. I don't know what we can do yet. We could kill some city-states. Maybe, maybe not. Some more tribute gold which is perfect there's definitely some settling locations around here though regional copper and then right on here also we've got marble actually in the capital we need to be careful of luxuries though because we don't have many we can um you can drop now we should have maybe bought a tile to grow to here oh well it's too bad now because if we look at this land we have oh sorry i just nudged the mic we um if we look at this land, we have marble, we have copper. And that's like it for luxuries. We've got this silk up here. There's not really a lot. Take Hokey's worker though. We should be able to get out of there alive so we can leave the war open. There really isn't a lot. I'm quite glad we didn't move to the coast because this obviously would have been garbage. But it's all overall not great. Now, I don't know what we do about all of this. There's so much land for us to settle. Probably want to put a city right in here somewhere. Through the mountains. Move over and rename this worker to Cahokia. But this is a really difficult one because there's just not a lot of luxuries here. More marble. We've only got marble, copper and silk. We, and we can't settle the silk. But how do we settle the silk to make a good city? We just don't. Which is really, really tough. Anyway, Jip of Rain joins the stream. Says, Faith from Tundra, let's go. <laughs> yeah, Gil says, I hope it's not turn one ear. This land is a bit painful. It definitely is. And we need to figure out the challenge of how to make it work. Because right now, we don't have it. It might be that we... Hmm... We need to see what's up here. That might influence our choice. 
And we can say there's no reason to take anything other than tradition. So we go for that. Monument done. Get a worker now. Be quite nice to get an early worker. Keep growing for a minute. We maybe should have tried to go OCC Temple of Artemis. But it's a bit late for that now. We'll probably just get beaten to it by someone who's trying to be cool. Uh, no. We can't pledge any of these city-states yet. Uh, yeah, we need to think about it. Killing the city-states is probably the best way to get more luxuries. The question is whether or not the city-states actually have land that's good. And the answer, I imagine, is no. We can't even get through here. So this is like an inland sea almost, this coast. And then there's land up here with, again, no luxury resources. We're so isolated, though. I really don't know what to do. We'll get this marble, so there's no need to set up. Oh, we've got ivory. I forgot that we have Friday. Oh, Mike Likes says, Happy Friday, j -Law. Welcome to the stream, Mike Like. Yes, happy Friday indeed. Hope you're having a good day. We've actually got a three lux cap. We've got ivory, copper, and marble. If we want a city, we should settle the silk. But at least we've got three luxuries to work with. Which is better than having no luxuries to work with. Let's grab a hill if we can. We couldn't. But I feel like unless we do something with a silk, we're just totally stuck. Almost as if we go right on the horse to get the silk could be good. And maybe that's what we do instead. There's a city up here. Yeah, a city on the hill next to the horse, says Dripper Frame. Yeah, like right here or something. Like on the horse or next to the horse sounds like the plan. We grew to pot four now. We still need to, we need to meet other players at some point. Seven turns to grow. I don't know that growing makes sense now. We could just go for settler production. Already six turns. It's seven turns to grow. So maybe let's go for that instead. Oh, turn rolled. The barbarian that's come in to cause us some grief. Let's chop down some forests with our worker. Want to take this tile for sure and work it. And then I guess we can take the copper too and work that. Up to 14 production. And we can take oligarchy. It's fine. These barbs are okay in there. See so if we can go meet anyone else. We're still super isolated. Temple of Artemis would be exceptionally good right now. And we can go back for... We need to take masonry. And then we'll also need trapping for luxes. Scout needs to... Seriously, where is everyone else? This game is so... This map is so confusing to play. Hmm. We have to be careful with our forest chops here because a lot of that, a lot of these um, piles of tundra and we do not want to chop forest on tundra. That'd be quite bad because the tiles are worthless otherwise. Hmm. There. Gets some marble as well and a horse and has okay food. And then we could maybe drop a coastal in here somewhere if we wanted it. But this city's almost better settled up here. Next to the copper. And then we just have to plot out where a fourth city would go. See if we can meet anyone at all. Still no one. This is kind of crazy right about now. But Gurren asks, is isolation a bit of a silver lining in multiplayer? Yeah, I mean the strengths and benefits of isolation are the same either way. You struggle greatly with happiness, but you then have no war and no immediate neighbours to contend with, which is kind of a good thing. I mean, it depends if you're game leader. If you're game leader, it's brilliant isolation. If you're behind, it's not so good. Hmm. 
The black vegetables found us finally. Meet the city state that's up here. Mogadishu. We need to figure out how on earth we're going to make this work though. Because right now it's going to be quite tough. Oh, Green Idix joins the stream today. Says good evening. Good evening, Green Idix. Border grown to some horses. Oh man, really? Come on. 14. 13. That's 14 then. And we'll just wait outside the Kokia now to try and get this. Um, Is this a forest or? Yeah. To try and see when it comes out to improve the deer. With another worker. Oh, there's Brazil up here. Wow. Wow. Salt. Ready for Brazil. We're going to be challenged to be game leader here. We'll need to go more cities. Green Island says, not a fantastic start, it looks like. The lands, I mean, yeah, the lands aren't good. I don't know how we manage this. Got to figure something out, though. No, I don't know what that is. Wow, look at all of this stuff he's got out. Double salt already improved. That's ridiculous. Now, we need to head out here, though. Our first settler needs to come out here somewhere to try and zone off the only land that is going to be that someone's going to try and compete with us for. And then we can get on to building a worker followed by another settler. But yeah, going says five cities easy. Rome makes production cute, production quite good for those extra cities. Three workers got that. I know. One's probably stolen. Yeah, Mogadishu. And then he's probably just built two. Kind of crazy. Yeah, we, we got, I mean, we've got the room for five cities. We just need to figure out how we get them. Canal city for the citrus. Yeah, interesting. But I don't know that we actually want to be on the coast here. I almost feel like it would be better to not settle a canal city and settle something on this inland sea. But we need our scouts to come back to check if that's a good idea or not. Maybe take... What do we need now? We need calendar or trapping. Trapping probably. But this is difficult. We've got the room for five. The question is whether or not we have the luxuries and the happiness for five. That is the question that we need to solve. Take legalism now. Expand into some iron. Or turn settler. Oh, we ran straight into that archer camp. That's unfortunate. Oh, hello. The old faithful is in here. So that could work as another city. It's basically happiness. Yeah. So the Old Faithful gives you three happiness if it's inside your borders. So we can settle the Old Faithful and make it look and basically treat it as a luxury. That can be quite good. And the fish as well. So that might be what we do. Let's come over here. Because we want to settle for these wheat and the copper. And we can probably keep working on getting happy. Are we ever going to get this marble in range of our capital? No. But we should. Go and handle it. See, Mike like says, All my homies hate Chandra. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, homie, Tundra is not great at all. Green Island says, how much of your, how much does your game change from deity to multiplayer? Um, it doesn't change that much. A lot of the stuff that works on deity actually works on multiplayer as well. The difference is really war and how war timings are just a lot easier to do on multiplayer as opposed to deity. 
but obviously the, the sort of the brain power of players goes up when you're playing on multiplayer as opposed to deity AI. No reason not to settle this city. We can probably just work this for a couple of turns until we get a, until we get a good tile. You know, let's just let's just buy this wheat and do that, and then go work on a granary or maybe a worker. I oh, know. We'll go for a granary first, because we've actually got those two granary resources. I think that makes sense. There's more citrus up here, so that appears to be someone else's regional luxury. Whoever that may be. But yeah, Mr. Jarvis says... Um, yeah, but yeah, we're, we're definitely sharing a weird continent, Gurren. Um, despite being on a Pangea map, for sure. It's very strange. Very odd indeed. There's Kahoki's worker again. We need to come back here with this scout and then see if we can meet anyone else near Brazil who appears to have had the same problem that we did, being stuck on a weirdly shaped Pangea. But yeah, Mr. Jarvis is very sad it's not balanced in any way to not be terrible. Yeah, that's the only thing problem with multiplayer really is the balance. But I mean, that's the whole point of Civilization V. I think it's always intended to be a bit unbalanced. It's also why I like the Pangea maps for that exact reason. So how do we settle this then? So we can maybe put this right in here somewhere. Against the, the old faithful. And that's going to be quite a defensible city here. Buy out to the citrus maybe. It's quite far away. And then we could get another city in. Perhaps in here on the inland sea as well. It'd be quite nice. And then combined with this it will give us a nice five city core. We should send this worker out towards Rome. But Rome's being challenged by a barb camp. So actually we probably don't want to do that quite yet. And um, we're being challenged by a barbarian here as well. Let's put a camp down. We need to get a unit out there in Rome. Which means we need to bring this scout back. Because we don't have enough units to cover the map right now. Go for calendar to get this silk online. Wow. Wow. Don't know what's going on in Rio. But yeah, so like the game doesn't change. Oh, Drip of Rain says so Sacred Water is right there. Right there for you to being useful. I guess we're going to have a couple of river cities. I don't know how good it's going to be, but it'll be okay. We don't have a Pantheon yet though. Really need this worker to come out to try and improve the camp so that we can go and capture it. It's not on its way out yet, sadly. And apparently we're we're short of a unit in Ravenloft, because this barbarian's gonna come in and give us a bit of terror. Take drill and heal. We definitely need more units. I wonder if we can even pass off to the scout at some point. I wonder if Brazil's thinking about coming down here for the Baranja Crater City. Brazil's actually coastal. Ah, I'm glad we're not coastal up here then. So that's a reason to not be coastal along here. We want to be on our little inland sea. The only other thing we could do about that is... There, we want to go right here for the citrus if we can. And here is this barbarian coming in to be a nuisance. Means we can go back to chop this iron now. I guess we can come back later for Kahoki. We've got to handle these barbs because it's slowing our workers down. Oh, so we went the wrong way to get past Brazil. We're going to need to heal the scout up before we go any further. Gunn says, is Brazil any good in multiplayer? I can't really see why anybody would willingly pick it. Yeah, Brazil's not, not very good in multiplayer at all. Um, its ability, the carnival helps tourism, which doesn't really do a lot. The only thing is during Golden Ages, you get a bonus towards great people, which is not really that good. And it's got a unique improvement that's only helpful if you have jungle, which they don't. But they do have a triple salt cap. 
Like what? They're like salt, 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 iron, wheat. This is amazing. We're glad Brazil hasn't met anybody, but it's not really good for us. So if we can go ivory, copper, marble, silk, citrus. That means that we'll be five luxing plus the Baranger Crater. Would be good. Let's chop this down. Put a mine on there. This is a really long travel time to get up here. We can maybe try and kill this archer camp. The border grown to the horse. Which we actually probably want to wor work here. Yeah. This is a nice city. But yeah, I mean, Brazil is a really, really bad multiplayer civilization. Like, pretty much just straight up, it's not good. Why have we got top score? I don't get that. Probably because we're inland. And we've bought a lot of tiles from our tributing. Are we still top army? No, someone's overtaken us now. Brazil's producing settlers on there. Three salt start with horse and iron like this. Look at it. Even got two plains horses and two iron nodes in the capital. Right, that is ludicrous. Need to heal this scout up for a couple of turns in Rome. Settler nearly done here. Let's just queue up another one. We like five city it before National College. Maybe. Then we can go back to get this ivory improved. Yeah, we got a four pop capital. We can actually, and we're producing settlers in five turns each. We can afford to do something like this. But we're going to have to outmatch Brazil, basically, in terms of growth. We're also going to need to go and meet the world. I mean, once we start getting cities down, we'll start to get a handle on these barbarians. And then there won't be so much of a problem. Okay, so we have another settler to go to our new spot. We need gold, actually. Thinking about it. We're a bit short on gold. We'll turn into this quarry and then stop. But we need to find some more. Because otherwise we will struggle to have enough gold to buy all the tiles we need. Probably take writing next. Yeah, we're a little bit short on gold now. Oh, hello. There's Salvador. Okay. We've only got 70, which means we won't actually be able to get the silk straight away. And with this city, we're going to have to go right next to the Barringer Crater. I wonder if this scout, what it can do. We need to find a way to work more gold. We're not working enough right now with our 70. I guess we can take the gold policy, monarchy. We're not going to need food because we've already built a granary. Green Knight says, I think we want that Brazilian city, right, chat? <laughs> Attack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know that we do. We, we want a city, Dan. We don't really want to go anywhere near anywhere near Brazil. The city down here is okay, though, and hopefully we don't get into a bit of a competition up here. Take the gold policy of monarchy, because we actually need the gold per turn. And the happiness, frankly. Oh my god, a city-state worker. Take it. Lol. Okay, well, we now have a worker from Biblos. Nice. But yeah, oh, anyway, Draconian Napoleon joins the stream. Welcome to the stream, Dr Draconian, Nap Draconian Napoleon. Says, I was just watching your Deity Aztec game. Nice. nice. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the content. This marble is so bad. But yes, welcome to the stream. <laughs> but yeah, we, we really don't want that Brazilian city at all. Fortunately, the black vegetable seems intent on not coming anywhere near our Barringer Crater, which is good. I don't know that it was the right idea to go for so many cities straight away, but hey, we've done it now. 
We need a lot of gold. We're not generating a lot of gold. Once we start getting rid of some of these units, though, we'll get better gold per turn. And we'll just need to be a bit patient. This is why we're getting three luxuries improved in the capital. I wonder if we can trade vegetables straight away, salt for copper. Like that. Mogadishu is taking some damage. I wonder if he's killing Mogadishu. Let's go in here and improve the gold on our copper. Pop this sissy right up there. Wow, loads of barbarians around here. We're going to struggle to get a city in there. Yeah, we have, to, we have to pick up this silk, which is why this city can't be coastal, but we can get another one over there. Renaldo says, Canal City below the Citrus, as a fellow chatter said earlier. To be honest, I don't want to leave ourselves open to naval attack. So what I will actually want to do is settle right here, probably. Still gets all of the good tiles. But what it means is that we're not left vulnerable to, a, to an attack through here. We do lose a lot of fish. But settling a canal city is just asking to get it burned down later in the game with frigates. Which is really not something we want to happen. We get double marble as well. And this is definitely a hill city, right? It is. Yeah, Gwen says you can... Yeah, that doesn't sound nice at all. Yeah, getting frigated. Exactly. I settle on the forest next to the wheat. Um, yeah, like maybe here. Here would be quite good because at least it means we can pick up these fish. I'm torn. This is clearly the defensive city, this plains right here. But this clearly picks up all of the better tiles of the fish. So I don't really know what we want. We need to settle this one now. Seems no reason not to. This is plant. Go to production focus. Probably just want to work, build a granary in here to start. And we want to give this tile... Okay, we've given the tile back to the capital. Good. And expanded some wheat in Rome. Just want to heal this scout. Don't really want to go too overboard. But yeah, this land we're aiming to turtle on. That's the goal. We can get some gold by killing this barbarian camp too in a couple of turns. Chop down the forest. And then that's going to allow us... We should probably go for a wonder after this. Mausoleum would be quite nice because we actually have a stone and an, and a marble. And it would make them better to work if we got the mausoleum. Stonehenge, though, could do for a religion. We should check to see what pantheons are gone. Only three faith pantheons so far and god king. Which means that we could perhaps go for Stonehenge to get a religion instead. Stonehenge is an engineer point as well. Which is quite handy. Great Library is also still here. Great Library could be good. Could we do that? I mean, Mausoleum's a nice gold wonder. There's Stonehenge, there's Great Lib. What would we take if we got a Great Library? Probably Philosophy. Need Archery. Or we're actually, we need Sailing now. Um, so do we... I mean, we could try for Great Library. That'd be quite nice, and it'd be a good science boost for us. No barbs out here. I mean, how much production is that towards the Great Library if we do it? We won't actually get down to seven. Oh, we do get down to seven now, because we got marble in the capital. And then we can chop this down, and that'll bring us down to almost six. Yeah, it's almost six, but we can get it down to six turns, so I guess we are going for the Great Library now. It really doesn't seem like a wise thing to do. Especially if five, five city wonders doesn't sound good. We've got a Barringer Crater city down. And we actually need to get this city a good tile. It will border grow to one. Let's just work production and then also go for a granary. Don't really want to do anything here. We can just sit and wait. Oh, um, Drip of Rain says, How long can you put words for rename? I don't actually know. We're going to have to check. Maybe try and get rid of that barb camp. That could be gold. Anything out here? I don't think so. Clear the barbarian camp. Get rid of this archer now. That means we can actually step forward with a scout and just put pressure on this barbarian camp. See if we can convince it to spawn more boats, if we can. 
And now we need to do some more work on quarries. Probably actually get a pasture on those horses over there. Or maybe some food for Ravenloft. We need to wait to expand to the bison and then we can buy the silk. Our gold is in very much short supply. Brasilia settled down here. This is fine. We're not really competing with borders there. Um, but let's have a look. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's like 16 characters, I think. Or 17 characters. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like 15 characters or something, I believe. For the city rename. But yeah, see how far you get for a name. Something like that. About 15 characters. Going to get a granary soon. That's going to make this city an awful lot better. Maybe it can build a wonder as well. We need to get more workers out. Kume is going to need to build one itself. Make sure to get one of those next. I mean, actually, it's almost better to go work before the granary in Kume. Because it needs to chop those forests down to be viable. And then let's get this done and get some more tiles for our capital. Rome's finished its granary. Going to need to build a worker here. Just because our workers are very much in short supply right now. And then we can go for sailing for the caravan. Hmm. Yeah, we really do need to get workers out to some of these new cities. Oh, here's the Songhai Archer. Well, hello, Songhai. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Kume to no four warrior rush. <laughs> nice. Okay, we'll do that. No four warrior rush. There we go. Rename city next to Brazil to me friendly. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's not exactly far, is it? It's on. It's just on a random inland sea. I don't see why they could have too many problems with it. I mean, if they want to, they can. But their army's not very big. We've got a spear, and this is an incredibly defensible city right here because the Barringer Crater that you can't actually walk on and then these hills blocking line of sight. How many turns here? Two turns. Good. I'm pretty sure we don't want to be in frigate range. Oh, I think we've crashed. Lol. Rip. So we've crashed. All right, let me just report this on the group. Yep, Civ Crash indeed. This is pretty common for multiplayer Civ 5. If anybody hasn't played a lot of multiplayer, this is a pretty common thing to happen in multiplayer. A random crash like this but it's okay we'll handle it it's not the end of the world for it to happen we'll just rejoin um Swamp Man. We'll just try and sort out rejoining this game. It's a shame. This is pretty common. Whenever you get a resync or something in multiplayer Civ, you um you have to do something like this where you just lose connection and stuff. I guess we're rehosting. Yeah, I am. Um, well, I if I'm going to rejoin, I need a lobby link. Otherwise, we'll have to rehost. I guess. I'm ready. I just need to join. Oh, 
Oh, right. Well, well, so if you're in the game, you can generate a lobby link yourself. You can always do that. To, well, it's not like a lobby link. It's just a join link to you. If you don't know how to do it, it's fine. We'll rehost. Yeah, so, I mean, what you have to do is you have to open your Steam profile in a web browser. And... Yeah, and so then you go to, you, you go to your profile and there's like a join game in on the right hand side. If you right click on that and click um, copy lo cl copy link URL or something, you specifically have to click that one or like it's copy link address and then paste it. Yeah, yeah, it's in it's in your profile. Yeah, if you click on your profile picture, so that's your actual profile page. It's on. That's fine, I'll, I'll load it up. I've got the, the Hellblazer mod thing, so it auto saves at the end of the turn, not at the start as well. Okay, just going to rehost the game. Yeah. Oh. Lala I'll post him a Steam profile, hold on. Uh, where's that? No, that's the wrong thing. It's the wrong thing. No, not. There we go. Accidentally posted my Steam profile in chats. So I don't know why that was going a bit weird, but at least we got that going now. Okay, and now let's get back to chat. Yeah, unfortunately, lobby simulator going on a bit here. It's a shame. But I think well, at least we're good now and everyone's coming back. We just need to wait for this one person who's asking for... Yeah, game's up. Oh, Green Idol says, Oh, damn, is that Black Vegetable from chat the other day? Yes, this is the Black Vegetable. Black Vegetable plays multiplayer. So he's going to be in the game. Fighting. Probably going to be... Black Vegetable's a very good player, so we're probably going to have a little bit of trouble trying to, trying to defeat them somehow. But we'll see. But yeah, this is the black vegetable. Veg plays and we're playing against veg. Jeff of Rain says, last time he died early. Yeah, he did. He got kind of warded out and attacked. I mean, black vegetable is a, a very competent SimCity player. Yeah, I mean, I mean every, everyone can die early. So, like, the, it's not really a thing to say somebody died early and therefore, you know, we don't really know how good they are. It's just, um, it's just, um, especially in early game wars, the moment someone declares war on you before, like, turn 60, you're basically irrelevant to the game either way. It doesn't even matter how good you are at that point. Even if you beat them, you're so far behind someone who goes four cities without war. So yeah, anyway, Green Idex says, My personal multiplayer career is two games strong with one 80 turn defeat and 100 turn something defeat. That's unfortunate.
Why, why is Swamp Man leaving? I don't get it. I mean, you might as well just fight for a bit. Oh dear. Ah, Swamp Man. Yeah, I, th I think it's probably going to get killed, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I was plus, but it's got to be unanimous as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes at most to defend his cap and then leave. But well, so we'll see how this goes. So let's see. So I think we just need to next turn here. Got some great wheat tiles in this city now, which is good. Should be at the end of the previous uh, the turn that we crashed, because that's how Hellblazer auto saves work. Oh, pluses, pluses just yes and minus is no, so whatever you're voting for. In this case, we're all doing pluses just to tell everyone that we're in the lobby. Yeah. Uh, Bobby already chatted. Black Vegetables asking about where Bobby was because he thought that he wasn't here, but Bobby Bobby already posted in chat. Oh, it certainly allows for easier communication. Sorry, chat. I'm just... Uh... No. <laughs> we need to make sure to get this down, the Great Library. We're working probably too much gold right now. We could be working these extra hammers. We don't need the gold. Yes, my mod failed me. Mod failed. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, so someone just hot joins. We'll probably solve it. Yeah, it's going to do it, I think. Yeah. Although that doesn't appear to have freed me up. Oh, he's gone orange for me now. Oh, there we go. Something worked. We've, ro we've rolled to the next turn. Yeah, they both left. Hopefully they can rejoin. Lobby simulator for the win. Yeah, someone's joining, I think. Yeah, timer never stops. Hopefully... Yeah, it's fine. Hoping this fixes itself. Okay, it's because both players are joining. Someone's going to need to quickly get an automate off when this timer runs down. 
Oh, so if you automate a unit, it actually resets the turn timer. I'm going to spam the button. I mean, if it doesn't happen in time, we'll have to redo the lobby. Fine. Probably because Yak's going to get double attacked by the AI. Well, 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 no, the, the AI isn't that bad. Yeah, it's kind of broken now. I think we're going to have to redo the lobby again. Well, bear with us, chat, while we try and fix this. Oh, no. All right, well, bear with me, chat. Moose and Goose says, I see I've joined at a good time, lol. <laughs> yeah, you've joined at the exact moment where we're having uh, what some players in the community like to call Ultimate Lobby Simulator, where we're trying to get our lobby going. We crashed on turn 40 in the middle of a war and we haven't been able to get back. I mean, I've, I've just rehosted the lobby. Why do you think we should all try and restart our sieves? Might work, I guess. No, it's, well, it's fine. I've, I've rehosted the lobby, so you can join back. But yeah, it's um, lobby simulator time. Unfortunately, two players were at war. We've had a crash, so we're, uh, we're, we're in a bit of a low point. It's actually always the same link. I just post it again to make everybody know. It's yeah, it's the same until you like re re sign into Steam or something. Oh, you got an error. Should I redo the lobby? This is going well. Yeah, maybe. Give me one minute. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's the tier list that's in the... If you just go into like the draft room and just like, don't know, tier list or something. I forget what the command is. That's, we're actually using that tier list to rank the sieves. Oh, right, that's interesting. I don't know if Filthy's start bias list is actually consolidated and correct because there's a lot of misinformation going around on start biases. <laughs> yeah, you'll take his over just some someone else's random one. <laughs> yeah. All right, hopefully we're going to get this started. I've had to restart Civ. That's pretty much what I did, actually. <laughs> well, we're going to try and reload this. Hopefully this works. Yeah, I mean, it's doable, but the, the problem with Deity is how restrictive strategies can sometimes be. That's why a lot of good players like to go to multiplayer, because you still get that challenge. In fact, a better challenge sometimes, but the range of strategies available to you is so much better. Yep, the classic one. This guy's uh, he's telling us about how he got his deity win by doing Venice versus Attila on dual map. But 
But yeah, apologies. I'm, I'm not piping anyone through in chat, but um, it's uh, I don't like to broadcast people's voices on the internet without them knowing or ask it or asking. So I'm just trying to interact with this guy as little as is humanly possible. But he appears to love talking to us now. Oh, yeah, I see. I mean, the coffee house is much better than the scouting bonus on the troops, but America's got quite a nice bonus because if you get to bombers, you can build B-17s and they can get instant air repair with an armory. Yeah, because they start with the Siege 1 promotion and then you can take Siege 2 with a promotion from the barracks and then air repair with the promotion from the armory. Doesn't, wo doesn't work if you upgrade Great War Bombers, though. It has to be hard-built bombers because Great War Bombers, they don't start with a promotion. Are we waiting for you? I'm assuming you're JR Henry. Or Henny even, sorry. Yeah, JR Henny. Yeah, it's, it's still the same link. It's always the same link, but I've restarted my Civ. Yeah, no, we try our best not to give up games once we've got past the 10 turn limit for re redoing the map. Oh, hold on. Sometimes it takes a while. And if, if we all ungreen, that usually helps. Okay, now we just need Bobby is back to come in. Uh, some do. It, I mean, it depends on the skill gap usually. Like, if the skill gap is quite close, they I, they always go to something like Stealth Bombers. But um, if the skill gap's a bit disparate, then sometimes you can get games that end that early. We're back, chat. I think we're back. That would be a very good result. Oh, playing. Oh, yeah, playing in public lobbies is a bit different, I think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the vast majority of the super strong multiplayer players I know play on this server, so there's a, there's a lot of good people here. Got to ban some... There we go. Just got to do some banning. <laughs> yeah, but everyone's got to start somewhere, don't they? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, a lot of it does depend on land sometimes. I think the best players are the ones that stay more relevant when they have worse land. Every Everyone can win on, like, salt dream starts or something. By the way, the black vegetable, I see you there with your three salt capital. Yeah. <laughs> three, three salt, two iron, and two plains horses. It's legit, legitimately insane. And he got to start on a hill with a fish. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got the tundra in my capital. <laughs> All right, yeah, damn, that's a nice lake, says Muson Goose. Um, it's an inland sea, but yeah, it's not bad. We can settle a city. We should settle this one right here. It's more defensible and we still get a fish. So I'm pretty sure we can happily settle the city there now. And we need to send these workers out to the expansions, otherwise we're going to get a bit behind. But we can carry on simming now. 
so we can get to work on our wheat. Our veg is apparently coming for this barb camp. Drip of rain. You nearly got me to ban you there, Drip of rain. Nearly convinced me to do the bannings. Do you want to become famous and have a lot of followers on Twitch? Try harder. <laughs> yeah. I know, those bots. Oh, we could actually take an instant heal on here and then keep working on the barb camp. It's quite good. Well, I gave up that barb camp so as not to provoke any tensions between us. It looks like a, I could have just walked in. All right, we need to go out and get this silk improved. And we can just found this city now. There's no reason to do anything else. Plump. And then we can go Monument, and then come back. Jorn says, the real bots are the friends we made along the way. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hopefully, fingers crossed on the Great Library. I don't know who's ahead of us in turn order. It's Black Vegetable. Black Vegetable can't be building Great Library. He's building a different wonder. Looks like the Hanging Gardens. Just fine. We go for Philosophy now. Yeah, smooth brain pot. <laughs> Lol. Looks like great library bazaars then. Oh no, we don't want to research philosophy. We uh... we can maybe take, I mean, drama and poetry now that we've sunk some turns in. And then yeah, work the horse here for sure. We keep bombarding these barb camps. Oh, I don't know what we did there, but something's gone a bit weird. Rome's going to grow next turn. I don't know that we can kill this archer now. We need to get back home. And just let the archers come in and be annoying for a bit, sadly. And then we need to get... We're getting a worker out to no for warrior rush either. And Ravenloft is done building. We can even go for... I mean, Temple Artemis. Temple of Artemis is still here, but I'm pretty sure we need to go Circus now. And then go and try and meet the rest of the world. Misun Goose says, oh, wow, it actually is an in inland sea. Just noticed the one lone ocean tile. Shame, because imagine Lake Victoria in the middle of that thing. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> yeah, it is, a, it is an inland sea. It's all coast, which is good, because it means that we can send cargoes between Kume and No for Warrior Rush. And they can each get lighthouses with a fish. Now we need some more gold, because we need to go and take some of this stuff. Kume's really bad. It needs to go monument straight into library, and we need to send it a caravan to start. Since the capital's got a nice little granary start, I guess we just have to not worry about feeding it for a little while. Bobby is back, says I would like a loan. I don't, I don't really know what we would, why Bobby is back once alone there, but we can't afford to give it to him. But yeah, like Lake Victoria in the middle of that could be pretty cool or something. We need to pledge some city-states that we haven't pledged yet. Probably the ones that we angered with tributing. And then get this improved. Oh, here we go. We should peace Cahokia now. We don't need to be at war with them anymore. Plus that Spearman is threatening our luxury. So there's a song high. They want us to kill a barb camp. We should. We need to do some questing. Biblos wants this. Wants a different barb camp killed. It doesn't even want the one that's next to it. Which is interesting. I think we're going to get the this archer stand on our copper tile. No, they're not. For some odd reason, it's just running past. We should be able to kill it now, though. And we can chop this down to make Antium a better city than it currently is. 
keep shooting the barb camp. I mean, we need to leave the spearman here. There's not a lot that we can do with a spear. It just has to sit and wait because it's our defense around near Brasilia. And then... Yeah, we can get scouting over there and improve these horses. Circus is necessary in Ravenloft because on five cities, we're going to be struggling to stay happy. So we need to do what we can early on. It's going to be something we need to do in Rome as well. And we did, we will need to purchase out to the Citrus at some point. But we need to wait for our first border expansion, which is why we're building a monument. We honestly could have done with more production here. There's not a lot we can do about that now. Need more gold. We've not got any gold to work, I don't think. In fact, we're minus one. Antium's borders have grown to it. Wow, nice. That's a full tile. Well, we want to do that. Throw in one. And then we should probably throttle down and... Uh, oh, no, we can't do that. What like this, actually? It's like growth in a couple of turns. We've got more than enough production there. Yeah, the scout needs orders. We need to try and meet some more city-states or something to get a little bit more gold together. Yeah, Green Knight, it says, Loan for gold per turn sounds like a good deal, though, if you go in plus when the deal ends. I mean, yeah, we will, but we really need to buy tiles within the first 30 turns or something. We can't afford for something with such a slow payback. Worker Granary Library here, and we use the worker to do some forest chopping. And then Kume does need to go Monument into Library, and then it builds the Granary later. I don't know what we do about production in Kume, because its production is kind of rubbish without a lot of stuff. It's the wrong city to not have a Monument into, which I don't like. It needs a worker. That needs to build a worker next. I guess we're going to be taking on the Black Vegetables religion. Pagodas. Really? The, bar the Barb Camp spawned a, a galley right into our land. Uh, this warrior doesn't need to be here now that the we've pieced the city-state. We board agree to a deer in no for warrior rush. Yeah, it's fine. Because we'll get more food out of that. We actually probably could do with chopping the forest down on this deer as well because we've got so many hills. Worker done there. Probably want to actually get the caravan built here before the library I would say and then we can chop the forest down because we've got plenty of hills around Rome we need to get our two caravans out pretty soon let's keep moving around and see what we can see gonna need a couple more workers though we're up to one two three four five so we need more As we have, yeah, we've got one, two, we've got four out right now. We're going to build another one and another one. That takes up to six. We honestly need a couple more. We do need a couple of caravans, though. Maybe we go caravan into, like, worker, worker in the capital. Because since we built Great Library, we don't actually need to build a library in there now, which is really good. And we've got a nice science boost. take tradition food so that we can grow more in the cap it's perfect it's 5.5 to grow to the next level so there's nothing to do there antium grew yep work that and we are happily working the gold so that we can afford to buy tiles who managed to go and clear that barb camp for us so that we can get the gold we should try and clear this barb camp down here rome's very nice grows in one wow I mean, Rome is doing better than Ravenloft at this point. I wonder, I wonder what its production's like in Rome. It's probably The production is probably as good as the capital at this point. Actually, I mean, no, the capital's doing a lot. We need to get another world wonder, though. Something like Artemis would be very good. Apparently, it's still here, which I don't get. I think because we've had two players warring is the reason it's still going around. And the Black Vegetable appears to be building the Hanged Gardens. Not Temple of Artemis. 
So let's try for the Temple of Artemis in the capital. And then not build the caravan here. We'll maybe try building the caravan in Rome, the second one. Then we actually need to get another bit of food going up here. Having a second expansion that's very strong is highly beneficial to us at the start of this game. Because our capital is really, really struggling for production time. Like that. We need to get more food in the cap. We'll, we'll manage it. We can get the wheel. See what's around here. Is there anyone down here at all? Because we've still only met three people. Kind of crazy. We're going to go up to seven happiness as well. That's good. Oh, there goes Temple of Artemis. Oh, well, it's fine. We can go back to workers. We might even build something like the mausoleum. What do we... Oh, we lost the scout down here. Oh, not sure I like that. We're going to have to do something about it. Maybe we get spearmen just to handle these barbs. Should be enough. And then, did we build this caravan? Wait, what did I do? Why, why do we not have a caravan here anymore? Oh, it's one turn away, that's why. Let's finish it in one. And we need to send these workers out. Got more happiness back, but we're running out of happiness now. There's not a lot more for us to get out of this empire. Oh, this camp got cleared, did it? I don't know when that happened. Yeah, we kind of need a spearman in Rome. Man, this archer was so close to dying as well. I didn't realise it was turn 51. The hand axe would turn up. Mausoleum would be good here. Need something. Artemis would have been really nice. I mean, mausoleum is gold. Marble and stone. We have a couple copies. Make the tiles a lot better. I think we need workers though for now. We're five cities. Let's focus on workers. We've discovered the wheel. In fact, that's what we should do here. We should build a water mill after this worker in the cap to keep growing. We can get some camps and things to make these cities a lot better. Kume is finally improving. It's going to grow one more, and then it can maybe finish the monument. Need to probably push for engineering. I mean, optics would be good to get at some point. Improve food in the cap. And then this is done. We need to send it to Kume from Antium. Antium does have a granary, right? It does. I think Antium can... Oh, hello. A barb camp with an archer in it and a worker. That is one for us. Okay, let's go chop some forest. Around no for warrior rush. I don't know how we're doing so far. Maybe we can go back to the... The EUI diplomacy list. 16 population. Play 16 with Brazil, but we've got five cities. Not a lot of gold. Fourth in army. Apparently Brazil's got a lot of production. That's the salt. I don't really know how we beat Brazil. We need to chop this down. And let's maybe not get too far ahead of ourselves here with the worker. Kume grew. Perfect. Yeah, just work production for now. The monument's finally finished, though. And we can... Once we get enough gold, we can expand out to those tiles. Chop some forest. Might as well wait inside Nofa warrior rush here just because we don't need to come out until that work is actually threatened oh man i just uh this brazilian scout took the camp but fortunate we may get some food make it a little bit better because it's a bit behind this worker needs to go straight there as well it probably doesn't have enough production if we don't chop the forests so we sadly probably have to leave them. Maybe we should go for construction next and then into engineering. 
I would like a wonder in the capital though. We've got marble. We should make use of it somehow. It would be nice to be working this stone. I don't think we can afford to do it. If we need gold, we can't afford it. We do need gold, but we're not generating any gold per turn right now. So maybe we just give up on gold and buying tiles. And we'll, we'll get this of citrus eventually when we naturally expand to the grassland. Perhaps. I don't know what's going on with these barbarians just running past our lands like this. Another worker. Probably build the road to Antium because it'll pay itself back now. And Antium grew. Guess we just want to work some food here. And grow the city a bit. This can contribute another worker, actually. That's quite handy. Four, four cities, top food, top production means a bit more. Alright, we need some more happiness at some point. We've got no more happiness to gain in our empire without this citrus. So what do we do about that? We don't actually have another copy of our regional right now. Probably this. We need to get this in our land, don't we? Okay. What do we get pillaged? Oh, we got the wheat pillaged. That's fine. This Tundra Hill. Fine. And then we wanted to chop this down over here. If we can meet some more people. And then we need to... This city actually needs to work this right now. That give, that's giving us pretty negative gold per turn. How long until we get the wheat in our lands? Just a couple. Well, what's the best thing this worker can do right now? Probably actually it's improve the copper. So let's improve the copper. And then hopefully we can take out this barbarian camp near Biblos. And that will do something. Mm, no, this, this barb is going to go pillage the other wheat now as well. But at least we can go kill it next turn. It's making Rome worse. Rome needs a library, actually. Which is going to be important because we're going to need to build the National College soon. Hmm. No for Warrior Rush is going to be the longest library, perhaps. Not sure. Okay, let's get rid of that now. Okay, and we're working production now. Want to chop this down for some extra food. Then we can keep chopping forests down. Need 4.1 food to grow, which we can't really get. Kimmo really needs help. Minus 7 gold per turn? Jeez. How do we fix minus 7 GPT? Probably that. And then... I mean, we're working all of our gold everywhere else. Minus 4 is not good. We're basically using up our great library bonus at this point. It's okay. But we don't want to be negative gold per turn for too long. We've border grown to some wheat here. Oh, perfect. Kimo wants to use that. And then we need to get across to start repairing our wheats. Ravenloft can grow. Ah, there's really nothing down here. Do 
Chop down the forest for no for warrior rush. Got another caravan coming and then a library after that. So that's 10 turns, 5 turns, 7 turns. That's okay. We don't mind delaying about 3 turns. They just want us to find the lands of the Songhai Armity. They want us to connect gems as well. Should we, should we just try at the embassies here with Bobby? And if Bobby will accept. Okay, cool. That's so strange. How is Bobby the only other player we've met apart from <clears throat> apart from Brazil? It's kind of crazy. Yak's got sugar for trade, but we haven't met him. This is kind of crazy, this map. I mean, look at this. How is the Songhai the only other person we've met so far? Like, it's us and... <clears throat> I've seen the black vegetable in here and Songhai is just chilling over there and there's not even anybody in the middle because Songhai has ran their settler all the way down from Gao and there's no one in here. So I don't know what is going on with the other players. Kind of crazy. We can maybe construct a camp before we go back while we're down here. We've got the production focus to do in that city of Kume. Antium's going to grow in a little bit. We don't really have any more tiles for it to work right now. Just building more workers. See how many workers we've got. Unit list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven workers and we're building two more. That's perfect. We don't want any more workers than that. FGS Boy says Liberty today. No, this was tradition. We've gone five cities before the National College. Trying it for fun. Yeah, they got Stonehenge. Welcome to the stream, FJS War. No liberty. Just five city tradition pre-National College. As you do. We need to be chopping some more stuff down. And then this. It, it would be nice to get a road over to Rome, but I just don't think we need it right now. Loads of forest to chop down in Antium. I think we can get away with chopping at least a couple. But yeah, <laughs> Jeff Brain says no Brazil is in the game. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could be forgiven for thinking that. Do we go for a wonder now? Turn 60. I don't think so. It would be nice to get a Colosseum up. A shrine to start the faith ball rolling. Probably a Colosseum. Library's five here. Uh, to be honest, I don't mind delaying the National College by like three turns if we have to. Because it's not the worst thing in the world on this empire. We need gold. We don't have any way to get gold. Maybe we should take for markets? I mean, we are actually doing it. Colosseum would only make our gold problems worse. So would a shrine. Both things would only make our gold problems worse. Maybe build a world wonder. We, we might need the Parthenon for a bit of delayed culture. It's probably better for us to take the Parthenon than it is for us to take Oracle. Because we don't need the early culture. <laughs> yeah, crazy stuff. I thought the gold defi deficit for sure meant liberty. Yeah, it's a very liberty gold deficit. But what it really is is tradition without like roads and stuff. Spearman's got some stuff. We can come back. Yeah, there goes the Oracle. So I'm glad we didn't put any time into that. Antium grew. Yeah, I just want to work production right now. There's no reason to work anything else. We can maybe chop the Parthenon down a bit faster as well. Cool, that's an improved tile for each of these cities. That's going to help Kume be better. Let's improve Rome again. Rome's going to grow. We want to do something like that for the production focus trick. Oh no, we don't want to go in that land. No war, please. 
It just was says, oh, no roads, I see. I have some advice for you, lol. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's turn 60. It's around about the, the time I would normally consider building roads. Who, oh, wow, we get gifted the Hussar here. How's... Two irrelevant people on the other side of the map. How's the Black Vegetable doing? They're not top army. Hopefully we can get gifted some army. Their food is killer though. 23 population compared to our 22. And they're on, on one fewer city. Not good. I don't know that we can afford to go six cities. Keep improving tiles around here. Because, ro I mean, roads don't even actually give us gold per turn right now is the thing. We connected the Antium Road. That's a bit of gold per turn. But, like, what else of these roads is actually GPT? One, two, three, four, five. Just the one to Rome. But it costs us a lot of gold just to build it. Need to go improve tiles around Kume. Yeah, Leonidas just says scrap a new with boss, lol. <laughs> I mean, it's only two irrelevant players. we still got everybody else in the game. I would like to build a market. Don't know that we need to. Should we go for civil service? We're going to have plenty of farms up. And that seems to be more immediate benefits to us than... Oh. No, we want we want currency. And then we want to go to civil. Yeah, like that. That seems to have more immediate benefits for us as well. Because we'll actually have quite a lot of civil service farms online. Can feed the cap as well. In fact, we can grow next turn here. We do this right. Get some extra production too. Yep, and then grow. And hopefully that will benefit our road to Antium. It's because we've got so many units. Like, Five City Tradition is not really equipped to be decent in gold per turn. Especially not when you're building libraries everywhere. Which we are. And going for a national college. We're going to have a, a decent timed national college all given. All things given, really. Order grew to some horses in Kume, which is another good tile to work. Need a, probably a granary next. That'll improve our wheat. We only didn't go granary first in there because we needed to get the library down. Probably improve another tile up here. No for Warrior Rush is already starting to flag a bit on the food front, so we should build the lighthouse. Cap grew, which is perfect. We actually need to start thinking about Colosseums and circuses. So maybe this city now just has to go Circus Coliseum. There's nothing else to build anyway. No for Warrior Rush. Almost wants to go Coliseum before the Lighthouse. Because otherwise we'll go unhappy. And Rome wants to go Library and then Coliseum. And then probably into the Watermill. What have we got going on here? I don't feel like we need another hill right now. We're going to get these Civil Service Farms up anyway. So we really don't need to improve any more hills. But we should probably get some more roads up. In fact, this is probably what this worker needs to do, is go and connect a road to Rome with some of the spare workers that are currently building these farms near Ravenloft. And then here's a caravan that wants to go from Antium to the capital. Make sure to grow a decent-sized capital. Five-city tradition. And we've been gifted a catapult. Where? Ah. Oh. Next to no for Warrior Rush. We can give that straight back to Almaty, really. No need to be holding a catapult here. Kume demands incense. It's a shame we don't have any that we can get. Let's go up there for the road. Improve our iron. How's military doing? Brazil's not top, which is good. I mean, Brazil must be trying to focus on simming. I can't imagine any other thing that Brazil would want to do. I mean, unless they see five cities and feel like killing us. But killing us would be a real pain for Brazil. We need to meet the rest of the world. And hopefully we can get some good units from Marmati at some point. Not just catapults. Come back for the road from Rome. And this can be food to Ravenloft. Which makes the city a bit better. Yes, we should probably work the marble to stop hemorrhaging so much gold. FJS Wolf says, they took your citrus. You should be warring them. 
Yeah, I, I thought he would put a city in here, to be honest. It's fine, because this is the citrus we actually wanted. We're nowhere near getting it right now. We are, we're going to need actual gold. So I don't mind if we lose Parthenon, because it helps us stay happy. Decoy citrus, exactly. <laughs> exactly, it's a decoy citrus. We need to meet other players. We're struggling right now, because we could be trading. And instead, we got to trade with a salt guy. Finished tradition though, turn 65, which is really good on five cities. I mean, it's not really good, but at least we're not struggling too much because the fifth city can slow you down sometimes. Need to get these horses improved so we can build a circus. And yeah, the road can go there as well. So we can build this road over to Rome. Looks like we're going to get Parthenon, unless the Black Vegetable is building it, Brazil. They have built two wonders. I doubt they're going for another one. We're seeing some more Songhai cities. Well, that's going to boost our culture at least. Not something I like building so early, but we actually had the time. And drop some turns into the Colosseum after this too. Brazil back to being top of all demographics. We're only top in literacy and that's about it. The only thing we can try and do is run away with this in technology, but we can't even do that. Like, four city cargo ships to each city. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Drip of Rain says, did you get Artemis? No, we didn't. Someone built it the turn that we started it. But sadly, we couldn't. But hey, we at least got the Parthenon. And we have got one turn. I mean, we're going to need gold. We're building enough happiness, I think, that we can afford to go market before this Colosseum. We'll put a turn into the market, and then we will need to turn back around and go to Brazil Enhanced Sikhism. What do they get now? Temple happiness. Let's hope they spread it to us. And now we need to do what exactly? Roads, I guess. And then start building the road over to Kume. No, for Warrior Rush is going to have to be the last road that we send. That's fine. Hopefully some of these roads fix our gold per turn. But we're still going to lose a lot of gold per turn because we're now building Colosseums. 10 turns to a Golden Age is quite good. Maybe that will fix our gold. National College is an 8 turn build. That's not bad at all. And Bogota actually wants us to generate a great artist. Do something like that for the production focus trick. Ravenloft can't do it. As our food. We're so far behind in food. This is a struggle. I know what we can do. We're going to have to assess the game situation to see what we do. Because Brazil is going to is just having a whale of a time right now. And they're going to continue to do so. So much food. And their lands are strong too. So we're gonna have to try and we're gonna have to try and figure out what the game state is and play it. Brazil has crazy lands, lol. What the hell says FGS? Well, yeah, I know. Like three salt capital, two horse, two iron. What? Ivory as well. Two copies of ivory, so that's two circuses. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Two more salt in Salvador. Brasilia has got a river, cattle, cattle, horses, iron, citrus, and Lord knows what this double sheep city's got over here with the truffles. It is insane. Yeah, Salvador also has two fish and two salt. Yeah, exactly. Like, this this whole this whole land is just ludicrous. It really is quite special. So I, I have no idea what on earth we're going to do about it. <laughs> Mr. Jarvis says, time to gang up. Yeah, you know what I would, but, like, who on earth is going to gang up in Brazil with us? Like, who? <laughs> who is going to do that? Because we're just massively isolated from the rest of the map. And two players on the other side war at each other. We're just going to have to try and keep tabs of how everybody's doing. And try and see what happens. But I really don't know how we do this. Clearly we can't let the game go past research labs. Because we'll get beaten by four cities there. Mogadishu maybe says drip of rain. <laughs> yeah I don't know. Like, if we can ally Mogadishu, that gives us food, but really what we need to be doing is either going up to six or seven cities and trying to outsim them in the late game 
or trying to kill them before we get to research labs and hoping that our tech lead carries on. Yeah, we need to we need to figure out something. We need to meet the rest of the players so that we can judge the map. Like the w the way to figure out how to win this is by trying we need to consider like what it is we have to do to win and what the earliest way to kill our opponents is. Or like how we attack the black vegetable, but it, it must be done before we we're going to need coliseums. But yeah, it's a it's a tough one for us to solve. We actually should chop this forest down as well because we've got we've got more than enough here, don't we? Like more than enough hills in Antium. I mean, Antium's okay, but it's not great, is it? Maybe we do save one and plop a lumber mill. Oh, we got a hill here. I can't decide what we want. Maybe one chop is okay, and we just won't chop both. Try and do our road to Kume. Get Kume some more production. We actually still get this fish anyway. We just don't get that one. So we we're, we're net. Equals in fish, I guess, in the settling that we did. See if we can get past this guy. Now we can start chopping more forests down. Oh, sorry, Schmitzky. We don't have a, a thing that's social policies. We're tradition five, though. Or, well, complete tradition, and we haven't done anything else yet. We can take some extra food in here. But welcome to the stream, Schmitzky. see i guess we put a lumber mill down keep chopping this down we'll have more than enough production i guess in some of these cities combined we're not doing our gold turn any favors we've even connected up rome and that's still going to leave us negative because we're building all of these coliseums so early when we're not ready for it and we kind of need the happiness to get ourselves to a golden age but minus 10 gold per turn is pretty bad. Maybe we should have built a market first in the capital. It would be science too. Maybe we still can. We could have had the market finished by now though if we'd actually gone for it. It's fine. It'll still be a perfectly decent national college timing. I'm sure that the black vegetable already has theirs up. That capital is so good. Got this forest down. And this one. I mean, we're just hemorrhaging all of our gold per turn away on Colosseums. It's basically what's going on here. And it's not good. We really ought not to be doing that. Need to grow again in here. So let's do it. Gao is coastal. That's interesting. Perhaps the Songhai can do something about Brazil. Uh, Schmissy says, okay, so do you play random multiplayer or against friends slash subs? Um, so I'm playing multiplayer in a multiplayer server right now. I believe if we do the exclamation mark multiplayer command. That's the Discord server that I play multiplayer in. It's for Windows and Linux Brave New World multiplayer. Uh, so we play mostly against in this random multiplayer. But of course, anyone who's in as part of the multiplayer server can actually play against us. So that's something. Also, we do do every maybe one or two months, we do a subscriber slash follower game where the followers can come in and play a specific game against me. And in that game, I'll actually join voice chat too and we can all chat together when we do it. But welcome to the stream. Anyway, Moose on Goose says, to be fair, only one city of Brazil's is going to get their unique tile improvement. <laughs> well, there we go. Silver linings, right? Silver linings. Only one city will get the unique tile improvement. That's very true. We grew out here in Kume, didn't we? Colosseum into Lighthouse. This sucks about building these Colosseums, but we have to, otherwise we go unhappy. 
We don't have any trades because we haven't met any AIs. Has he already got open borders? Uh, Brazil's already got civil service. Yeah, Brazil's already gone in for civil service. We're pretty much already behind Brazil in tech too. And their top food and everything. We need to figure out what we're going to do about that. There's no two ways about it. They're flying right now. Oh, Schmitsky says, and what's your opinion on Lekmod? Almost all streamers I follow play Lekmod. Any reason you play Vanilla? Also, thank. Well, so, any reason you play Vanilla? Also, thanks for Link. Um, so the reason I don't play Lekmod is actually, I mean, it started out because um, some of my IRL friends can't install Lekmod because they're on Linux. Is the reason I play a lot of Vanilla Ball. So I quite enjoy the randomness of the maps. It has to be said. So I quite like playing the vanilla maps as things go. Plus, there's still an active community, so I quite like it. But really, no reason. I mean, I the Lek mod as a concept looks quite nice. It's all very, you know, just everything's so boosted to the limit, and the map is absolutely wild. And I'd have to learn a lot of the stuff. So, one, because I, I sort of... We have, I, I have a YouTube channel as well, and that's got some guides on it that are helpful for introductory and new people who play Civilization. So I like to keep some of the content that we Twitch stream also, you know, familiar to the people that are coming across from the YouTube channel. Which means as well playing a bit of vanilla Civ 5 as opposed to modded like Lek mod, which is just, I mean, no matter how you put it, it is a learning curve to new players. It just is for Lek mod. And so that's probably the reason why I haven't really switched to it, because I quite like having this open for new players as well. We need to go and mark it. Stables would be nice, but I think a market is probably worth it first. Deal proposed. Nice copper for instance. Perfect. So we're happy again. But yeah, I mean a multitude of reasons, really. I'm open to trying some Lek mod though at some point. But um, he's uh But yeah, I'm open to trying Lek mod at some point, but just not quite right now, I guess. It's when I'm looking for a bit of variety or something, because I know that's a good thing to do. Anyway, so Bryn Hilda says, are you playing with friends right now? Um, so I'm playing with a follower, someone who follows the channel, The Black Vegetable. They're Brazil right here, actually. Uh, but no, I'm not playing any of my IRL friends right now. I guess I'm going to have to wait to go through Tombok 2. Smithy says, oh, already in the Discord. Never noticed you were there too. Yeah, I am. I don't. I haven't played so often of late in the Discord. I um, I've been struggling to find the time to get a multiplayer game started. So I haven't played in it as often as I used to or would like, but I'm, try I'm trying to make sure to get some multiplayer games in because I like the variety of multiplayer and single player on the channel. Plus, there's definitely a multiplayer audience for Civilization V on Twitch. Jeff Brain says, he is M. That's probably why. What, what, what do you mean by he is M? Terracotta Army's been built. Perhaps that's the AI. Bobby is back builds Petra. Nice for him. City connection established. Got some We Love the King's Days. And we got positive gold again, which is perfect. We need... Oh, a civil service farm right here. Do we greed universities? Probably we do. I'm just thinking about this. We're getting absolutely blown out of the water by the black vegetable in terms of really every demographic. Do we greed universities to try and use the science to catch up while they tech for something like metal casting? Or do we go for Notre Dame? I feel like we probably need education. Our capital's a bit low on food though. Have we got any more river tiles to improve? Not really, just this one up there. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. But maybe greeting universities is the best choice here. Uh, anyway, Smitsky says, Yeah, I found you because of Reddit and then YouTube. Also, and I do share the opinion about the maps. The policy changes are just nice, so almost every opener is strong. In vanilla, there's just so often tradition and then sometimes liberty, but the base Pangea map I really enjoy. Just too many resources on Lek map. Yeah, I, I actually pretty much just share your whole opinion on Lek. Like, the, the ridiculous of the maps is something that I am not particularly fond of in terms of there's just so much on it. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. And the fact that, like, 
you know, five population cities can spam crossbowmen in one turn. Just feels very, feels like a lot for me. And the fact that war is, there's a lot of carpet of dooms when you're talking about war. But then, yeah, at the same point, it's nice to be able to have the variety of additional social policy trees, which is just something you don't get on these maps. So maybe go and get a lumber mill in here and we can try for some extra food around Antium. Lumber mill, farm, quarry. Yeah, and says, and boy, you really speak fast. It seems like I have 1.5 speed. Not not easy for a not good English speaker. Um, ah, oh, apologies. Sorry, I, I do have to, I do find myself talking a bit fast sometimes. My bad. I'll try and slow down a bit. Yeah, it is something that I don't do a good job of, though. Apologies. We need to get cargo ships up soon. It honestly might have been good to at least dip engineering. Or education. So we'll go there. Different brain says, oh, never mind. I don't want to say it. Glad you don't understand. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're, sure. We're being blown out of the water by Brazil. It's 17 pop cap already. And our empire. I mean, we, we've got civil service now. There is no more food in this empire than what we have. We're just being wrecked. Maybe as we get more farms... We have a horseman. We can keep that. Water mill done here. Probably need to start getting shrines up. Because otherwise we're going to have no faith later in the game. And now that we actually have the gold per turn, we can afford it. There goes Chichen Itza for Brazil, of course. Yeah, I mean, what the production? What else can we do? If we can go and meet some other people. Brazil is game leader for sure. I don't know what we do about Brazil, but we're clearly going to have to do something to handle them. Just need to get more food right now. The problem is, is that our food is nowhere near competitive with them, which means that we're just going to Struggle. Otherwise, at least we're going to get National College soon. That's going to help keep our science afloat. But that doesn't, it doesn't really mean anything. But hopefully we might be able to enlist this guy to come help us kill Brazil at some point. It's practically the only thing that we can do. Need to grow here. And get a circus. Or said I would suggest a slap in the face. Well, okay. Don't know what that's about. Mr. Goose says, Schmitzky, maybe check out Attack Mod. It's a nice gap between Vanilla and Lek Mod. It is actually, it's true. The only problem is, I don't know how, how big is the multiplayer community for Attack Mod. It's the only thing is like the two communities I know of are the Vanilla community and the Lek Mod community. I don't know about there being any real big multiplayer community for Attack Mod. If there is though, that'd be quite nice because that means that that would be playable for multiplayer as well. Shrine done. Need maybe a circus. Because we got to stay happy. The happiness will run out quickly. On this number of cities. So we can't be complacent about it. I mean we're not having a bad game. We're just being completely wrecked by Brazil right now. Colosseum. We can actually go shrine first. And will stables be any good here? It is a one tile stable, so no. We're just gonna have to I mean we're gonna we're gonna have to actually do what this person says actually is um see if we can deny him Great Wall. It's pretty much the only thing that we can do. We can start building Great Wall next turn and hope that he doesn't get it. Ah, oh, rip. Did you crash? We're all still in the game. Can you rejoin? Oh yeah, I don't know if he's here.
Na dann. Is he again? Was he one header? Oh, we're going to have to stop for a minute and just um, see if we can get this guy back in. But yes, yeah, Smitschke says, and another nice to have is that strap balance includes coal at least. That's true, actually, on the on the Lek map and also the Hellblazer map. Aluminium and uranium, you don't think is necessary in strap balance, but coal is a must have in your eyes. Yeah, I mean, I would t like not having coal is quite the killer. It's yeah, it's unfortunate, but yeah, it's something that's good. Oh. I mean, his internet might have dropped or something, so maybe we'll give him a couple. But yeah, I mean, I would agree. Like, aluminium is quite is quite important as well in the aluminium for stealth bombers. But the thing about coal is if you don't have any, there's no easy way to get some. If you don't have aluminium, at least you can go conquer with bombers or something to go get some, to go get some aluminium. And it's the same with uranium. Whereas with... Yeah, with, with with no coal, there's no real easy way to go and conquer for coal. So I would echo that. Oh. oh, actually, I can do an auto. Let's put that back in there. And we just have to wait for a bit. Well, while we're waiting for this to happen, chat. Well, let's see. We're being added for some reason. All right, we're going to have to proceed without this player. All right, looks like we're playing on without them. So this comes down into a three-man game then. But yeah, Smitsky says, yeah, when you want Alu for stealth, you've got the infrastructure to capture cities more far away. When coal comes, you have crossbows and knights. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, we'll see. Smitsky says, so if there is no coal near you and no city-states got it, it's just to RNG for this important resource. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, really. Uh, circuses won't be needed yet, so we can go into Temple, maybe. And we can build the Great Wall in the capital. It's a five-turn build. We need to deny it to this player, otherwise we're going to have a real struggle killing them. I mean, we actually... The struggle to kill them won't be too bad, because artillery can just walk around here. But it's not the easiest thing in the world. You never want to have to go up against something like that if you don't need to. Bume's got stuff now. We need to buy tiles around here. We've got to remember that. We don't actually have the fish either. But yeah, it's very, very RNG for one of the most critical resources in the game. I mean, it's a massive production difference, isn't it? Which is why it's so important and so bad not to get it. Uh, uh, okay, I guess we can move past Tyre now. And do we connect some more iron? Probably do, but we're already not really doing a lot here. Just need to keep growing and working some tiles. But let's try and get the Great Wall. 
if we can deny it to them, then that's perfect. If we can't, then oh, oh well. That's the best that we can do. I'm not used to this boom stand yet for the microphone. No for Warrior Rush is growing. We need to be sending cargoes between these cities. So given that our happiness is in a good spot, why don't we build a cargo next here? And then our fourth cargo ship can go again back and forth between these cities. And this caravan, when it's done, will feed Ravenloft. Because the capital is really small. Yeah, Brazil's joint tech lead now. Mm, we're not really in the position to expo them anymore. Well, there's a, there goes a wonder, which was that. Colossus. Oh my god. Alright. I mean, we're just going to get completely destroyed if we don't fix this. So I think what we need to do is go for a little bit of the war here. No, for Warrior Rush grew. Fine. We really need to work some bad food tiles in this city, really. This is fine. Actually, no. We can Now that we've actually got a nice hill, let's just work this. The market is done here. Let's go stables. Actually, we want shrine before stables. Shrine then stable. And keep building our great wall. So if we can meet the rest of the world. We don't have a lot of happiness now. Oh, this is going to acquire this oasis soon. That's perfect. Let's get this mine up. I'm pretty sure we need a solution to this. And I think the solution lies in a very warmonger way. We also, we also should connect No for Warrior Rush by road at some point. Probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's better to go up through here because that's better access from the capital. And in here we can work this tile. We're working a really bad tile here. Can we grow? We cannot. Unless we finish the sheet, which we're not. That's fine. Let it do that. But yeah, Smitsky says, and something other is that you can go full artillery on like mod. In normal vanilla, you either go industrialization, then public schools. And when no coal, you're forced to hit radio for an ideology. Yeah, I mean, it's quite difficult, isn't it? Like when you go for coal, you can guarantee that you've got it, which is, yeah, difference. 34 pop there. What's our population? We need to go back to our diplomacy list. We're 34, 45, 38. Well, hopefully our uni greed will come to our help. And then what do we want here? Do we want commerce, patronage, exploration, aesthetics, piety? Honor would be quite nice if we're going to go to war with Brazil at some point. More great generals that will actually matter as well. Let's probably take that because we, we do think we're going to be going for some war. Lumber mill. Then over here for the road. How's our demos doing? 155 plays 118. Uh, yeah, we've got to kill Brazil. There's no two ways about it. And getting the Great Wall is the first step. We actually only need two productions to get it down by a turn. Which means that we need to stop working some of this gold for a moment. And work the iron. Okay, so that's down to two turns. Which means that as long as we don't lose it next turn to the Black Vegetable, it's ours. I think that might be American territory right there. We need to get extra food in No for Warrior Rush. It would be nice if we could claim one of these hills up here as well. Like these two hills would be perfect to claim because that's in artillery range of Brasilia. So I wonder if we save up our gold to actually buy that. Oh, we need an aqueduct here. Wow, okay. Need food first before a road. We can use spare workers for a road, but not like workers that actually have something useful to do. Well, this is fine. Pasture's not done yet. Great wall is ours. Perfect. Unless the black vegetable builds it. They're actually ahead of us in turn order. I forgot that. We're going to grow here. It's fine. We'll meet America. Public declaration is fine. I forget whether or not we're allowed to swap embassies on this server.
Well, I mean, we're going to grow here. We can at least take some food. Like that. I really don't want to have to buy that fish, although we built a lighthouse specifically for it. So let's just take it and work it. Yeah, what does Schmitsky say? So it says, and rationalism is also a must-have to be competitive. I do like games where rationalism is banned because it makes the game slower and more interesting. Yeah, I mean, I would agree to some degree. It definitely does, like, just make the games shape up a little bit nicer, which is true. It's very good. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it's that flexibility, isn't it? Like, all of the nice bonuses. You just don't have quite the same, quite the same flex. We can actually build a stable here as well, although I think we need a circus first yeah it's like the um as opposed to having to guarantee dipping our next three point four points into rationalism we could be putting them in anything else to enhance other sections of our game to make it more varied which is quite nice in and of itself we don't need any more workers near here let's keep moving these along no for warrior rush is going to grow that's fine yeah where where rationalism oh there we go yeah! Finally, the Aztec capital died. We're going to grow here, so let's take a bit more food. How are we doing in terms of food now? Still miles behind. He's got 33% more than we do. At least our production is close. The only thing we can do to beat him is to... He's got a swordsman now. The only thing we can really do to beat him is to go artilleries right after education and not stop. What does that mean with that we can skip? So artilleries is right here. We need chivalry but not banking. So perhaps we should pick compass up and then go for the food because we are going to need to send these trade routes back and forth. We've perhaps got too many workers around Antium as well. 40 pop, 48, 38, 23. How do we kill this guy if we go full artillery afterwards? Because there's not really anything else left. I guess we'd have to kill him with artillery too? I don't know. Smithy says, but on the other hand, a multiplayer game lasts long enough even with rationalism. Yeah, I mean, multiplayer games, they do last for quite a while, don't they? With rationalism, it's okay. Veg is AFK. We do need to claim up one of these two tiles. It's 47 gold more than what we have. Maybe go there to start our road. Why not? Well, we still have the movement. And we're slowly adding food, but it's just not enough. We had a decent start, but now we're just struggling with, well, food, frankly. Need a garden. I mean, the, the, the way to win this now would be to... We need to kill both the Songhai and Brazil is what we need to do. Work is just building a farm. But yeah. Mr. Jarvis says, I feel like rationalism shouldn't be banned, but perhaps only opened. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, it's kind of a nice thing to maybe... Um, yeah, not, not ban it, ban it, but let you at least take the opener to speed up the game a bit. And then that still gives the flexibility that just having to, you know, being forced to go rationalism doesn't, which I quite like. We should be top food right now and we're not. That's a problem. We can maybe go in for compass for the trade route. Or do we take a quick stop on banking? I tell you, yeah, let's not go compass. We should go for banking. This vegetable's got to be going for leaning tower, surely. He's also greeting universities. I wonder if we could still expo him now that we've got the Great Wall. It's wide open terrain. Five cities is meant to sim though, not to expo.
Our golden age ended. That sucks. Rome grew. Need the market here. Actually need unis now that we've greeted them. We should go full on universities. Where we can. So there's roads, kind of. What do we want to do here? Yeah, something like this. I, we're being we're being too cool about the roads. Let's just do a real road. Didn't have enough workers around no for warrior rush. We've got some nice land, but we're just going to get beat to wherever we want to go by vegetable. But maybe we can just do a lab skip play and be okay. Lab skip play certainly leaves us in a bit of a better spot. Need unis at some point. You maybe the unis up behind everything else that we've got like that. And then go for unis in our core two big cities. Ah, oh, Pie Lover says, Pie is life, Eastern Rome city. Welcome to the stream today, Pie Lover. Pie is life. There we go. But yeah, Schmitsky says, yeah, but I like not needing to calculate when to enter Renaissance just, just to get rationalism go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's true. Burn them to the ground, j Laws, says Mr. Jarvis. Yeah, we got to kill them somehow, don't we? I just don't know when the best spot to do it is. And now 2% ahead of us. Lab skipping might not even work, honestly. We might just have to go RT. Uh, this was going to Kume. It doesn't want to do that anymore. Hires life to the capital. I'll go ship to Kume. Uh, no, Kume's doing okay. We should send this from Kume. Yeah, Mr. Jarvis says, might need to bring up that channel point cost for name change so every other game doesn't have Pyre's Life City. <laughs> well, there's plenty of other people who sit in chat for a reasonable amount of time. You could all not name the city's Pyre's Life. No full warrior rush. Okay, yeah, build a uni here. Ten sons is a bit slow, but we'll just have to do it. It may grew. Antium grew. Uh, Antium needs to work this tile. It's so much better. Plus eight food is nothing here. And we can go up onto this hill. No for warrior rush is going to grow. And then this caravan to Ravenloft. Going to grow to other iron, which is fine. Get down here and build a farm. Build a farm. How's our food doing? Still miles behind. Prod is suffering. They've got top pop, which is the problem right now. We're not having a bad game at all. It's just they're having a crazy good game. FJS Wolf says, can Song High threaten frigates and then you follow with artillery? I think that's probably the way. We either have to team them or to... Oh, Drip of Rain says, take a sip of your beverage, Drip of Rain. Thank you for keeping me hydrated. I actually needed that as well. Yeah, so we got we got to do something. I was thinking about skipping labs for some sort of play, but I worry that they're going to go freedom and be too far ahead of us. Which is certainly a potential problem. Okay, what do we need here? So something like that and then like that. Uh, hopefully the scout can go find some more lands. If we can just find Captain Yak, maybe. Underneath more food around here. Can't even really make the capital any better. Yes, we'll just move around for a bit. But yeah. Schmitzky says, and what do you guys think about the same counter for great merchants, great engineers, and great scientists? Again, I think I like the thing I liked about Lek, and when playing single player, use a mod from Workshop for the same result. Do you like the counter for the three? I actually, um, I don't 
mind the fact that it's separate. Like, not having too many engineers really sort of forces you to balance the world wonders that you go for. But, yeah, I mean, you're right. It seems a bit nonsensical that some stuff would have split counters and some, some stuff would have the same counter. It not really make a lot of sense. I need to come up here to Kume. Hopefully we border expand to this and then we can get the citrus. It's important. <laughs> My throat crying for help. Huh? It probably was, yeah. We need culture from Bogota as well. Get a great artist at some point. Now that we have guilds, we can probably build that first. Oh, Machu's here. Machu could be good. Let's get Machu. It's something that Brazil... Oh, <laughs> building it in Brasilia. We're probably going to lose Machu then. We should have gone for that sooner. Hopefully they haven't been there too long. We can maybe race them for it. And at worst, we get some gold. Again, another one of these things. Oh, where's this barb camp? Oh, it's all the way over there. I mean, we can send the horsemen out, maybe. And try and get it. But we might as well just give Almaty back their catapult. Because we don't need that. No for Warrior Rush grew. Fine. Another road tile piece. Do some roads. We actually do want to improve food here. It's fine. We could have done a bit better there. This map is crazy. I don't know how... Could we have fit a sixth city in here somewhere? I mean, maybe against this coast, but it's not very good. Because a sixth city might have helped us be competitive, but it doesn't put us ahead on demographics. Oh, Scott and Oli just subscribed with Prime. They've now been sub for two months. Scott, thank you very much for the two months sub. Welcome to be the first person in the, the two month sub club. Thank you very much for your generous usage of Prime on the channel. Oh, and welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen you in the stream yet. Let's race. Oh, and congratulations, of course, Scott, on getting your second COVID jab. Scott tells me on Discord I didn't have time to reply yet. Yeah, one month anniversary, indeed. Well, well kept track of, Scott. It's something like one month or just a day after one month, isn't it? But yeah, we've been going. We've been Twitch affiliate for about a month now. So celebration times, indeed. I say celebration times. Celebration times. It's, it's nice. Things are going well. Let's really hope we do border expand here. I don't mind losing gold to Machu. But if we could take Machu from this player, that would be very valuable. This was just Tundra, wasn't it? Yeah. Need to grow again. We don't have any food tiles in the capital. <laughs> Scott says, feeling ill already. Oh, no. Oh, that would suck. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad, Scott. Hopefully it's not too bad. My jab, my coronavirus jab is queued up for the 23rd. So that's when I am joining the realms of the vaccinated. We've so far been left out of the fun. We should probably work these uni slots as well if we're going for like an RT timing. 3% behind now. Yeah, this is mad. 57 pop against 49 and 45. Get microchips by Bill Gates. <laughs> Lol. Just for anyone who's watching, that is a... That's a conspiracy theory, not a real thing. But it is an amusing conspiracy theory at that. <laughs> I mean, our Renaissance timing is not going to be bad. It's just not going to be as ridiculous as this guy's. 57 pop turn 88. Four cities. Salt. We, we, we have to RT him. We got our unis up now. We need to go garden. And then we actually need to go and work some of these university slots. We're going to go for artillery. It's what we got to do. And then the capital is really crying out for some help. It doesn't actually slow down Machu. If we take this off, does it? No, good. Okay. 
and see him grow. Our cities are not very good. We don't want to work this. We want the food. We've got a city connection. Perfect. So I guess our gold per turn is now equals, but not good. We need to get that in mind. We still need to acquire these two tiles next to Brazil. And we're actually close to being unhappy. Oh, this is five turns. But when we grow, we'll finish that off in four. That's fine. Oh, perfect. A nice tile for the capital over there. More food. We're working with the river tiles we've got. We just can't... We just don't have many tiles with more than three food on them. Is what we're struggling with right now. Wait, uh, we... Uh, we haven't border expanded there yet. But if we do, we can go and get the citrus close to connected. Where'd the barb camp go? I've lost track of where it was. It's all the way over there. Okay. Oh, we've had this spearman on auto explore for the longest time, but hey, it can go get the barb camp. <laughs> Scott says, damn, I've got two chips on me all, uh, all times. COVID shot and cell phone. <laughs> that was funny. The 5G signal should be off the charts. Exactly. Lol. How's our demos doing? Still miles behind. And our tech is not good. Black Vegetable's just doing everything right right now. We need to dual frigate and artillery rush him for sure. I mean, there's there's no two ways about it. That is what has to happen. Otherwise, we get outplayed to uh, uh, skip labs. Timing. If we're going to try and skip labs to get in, we're going to get out, out simmed to that, basically. So we're in a really bad spot. See if we can go clear that camp for Almaty. I don't know if we're going to get beat to Machu. I really hope we don't. And we are. We could go unhappy if we grow. No, the, we don't go unhappy if we grow here because the 10th population is free with tradition. But we would go unhappy here. I don't know if we want that. But maybe for a circus. Let's maybe stop being unhappy for a bit and just put production. Get like the university down. And then get the circus out. And then anywhere else we can build happiness buildings. I guess they come next. Need to build the circus maximus somewhere. We can do that. This is the sort of thing Filthy Robot never had to contend with. Some dude on 57 population, 4 cities turn 90. We have to all frig him. There's just nothing else to do here. And we've got the advantage because we can RT Brasilia from a lot of different locations and they don't have Great Wall. And this empire's got no no chance of petering out either because, I mean, it's just flying. With Temple of Artemis and Hanging Gardens. That's why. Jeez. Yeah, okay. We want to work these tiles. I wonder if we even work the science, but I don't think we do. Making the city better one tile at a time. And we border grew to the wrong tile. Of course we did. Yeah, turn Hanging Gardens just OP, says Schmitzki indeed. So it looks like the game situation is artilleries at this point. Hopefully we get Machu. I would like to expo this guy, but check Machu says Schmitzki. Unhappiness might have screwed, might have screwed it up with the pops for turning. Oh, it might have done actually. In fact, it is. We How much do we need? 2.12. We can get that back then. Because we're not going to grow to it now. And we can give up the marble, like that. And 
And then this is going to Ravenloft. Yeah, this the unhappiness did screw it up for a turn. That's a that's a very good call out. And then we can go... I mean, if we're going to go for artillery, there's no point in doing anything like temples, is there? Or is there... A temple would be nice, and then maybe we just push for it. In fact, I know what we need. We need the Circus Maximus, but Ravenloft hasn't built his Colosseum. As long as we don't get the same turn, we're actually going to get Machu. <laughs> Let's actually start on a barracks, because we know we're going to need it if we're going arty. And then in here, we need a market for the gold if we're going artillery. Fire's life is about to grow. It can grow onto that production tile. That's fine. And the Caps got Caps got every decent tile improved now, which is a real shame. So we get this. I mean, if we lose the gold, it's not the worst thing ever, but it's not ideal, really. Oh, that, that camp went. That's unfortunate. We're going to lose happiness with Almaty as well if we don't start gifting them stuff. I mean, we're never going to upgrade this horseman, so let's gift that. And then we can gift the spearman afterwards as well. And try and keep the ally ship for a little while yet. Unhappiness minus maybe don't grow. Oh, good point. Ah, it's going to go minus now. Nice. We got Machu, though. Which is perfect. And Bobby built Notre Dame. Very good. That's, that's gone well, actually. I quite like that. Yeah, we are unhappy. Like, we, we really need the gold to get out to this citrus. We're going to get happy next turn, so that's fine. I'm actually going to grow anyway. Something like that. Going in for banking next turn, so that can be a cargo. But we'll just stay like this for a bit. This is okay, it's not the worst thing ever. We can just let Kume grow though. What well, the university slot until we get happy. But yeah. <laughs> Schmitzky says, if only I would be this aware, this aware when I play. <laughs> but I would definitely not think about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's pretty classic, really. The things you see when you're not the one that's actually playing and have to concentrate on all the other decisions. Do we plant this or do we just bulb it? It's a little way to go. The plant could be quite good. I guess it's so early we can plant. And then we can push for another one. There's no more good tiles in the cap though, like at all. We are out of good tiles here. And we do have to think long term as well against this other player. Bobby is back. At least we've got gold per turn now. A Circus Maximus in whatever our best city is outside of the capital. It actually looks to be this one that's building a market. Or does the capital just build the Circus Maximus? Is it? Oh, it's four turns in the capital. We have to build the Circus Maximus there. Really? Let's go for that. But maybe after the... No, it needs to be before the garden. Otherwise, we'll again go unhappy. Capital grows. Kume, cool. Yeah, take that. Well, I guess our, our growth is really... I mean, we'll work in one university slot. That's okay. And a spy has been recruited because we went in via banking. Perfect. That means we get the, the trade route. Oh, we actually need both trade routes. So why don't we get this compass one? And then we're pretty much just going for uh, metal casting, machinery, printing press, and then we're making our declaration for RT. Shame we haven't met Captain Yak. We could actually trade for that ivory. Actually, no, we've got ivory. Such for Captain Yak, I guess. 
But yeah, Schmitsky says, yeah, the Tundra really sucks. Even the flat iron tires, who I really like because of two, yeah, two food, two production aren't worth working. There's a f like a freshwater hill before civil service. Yeah, I and mean, this, this is really not a good tile, but I know we don't really have a lot of other choices in the capital right now. Just working tiles and we're going to hope that we can, this game doesn't last long enough for it to be too much of a problem. It's probably the approach that I want to take. Something like that. I guess. I need to put food down here. And then move this spearman back. But we really do just want to gift it away to Almaty whenever we get the chance. We've got compass for another trade route. We need to build this cargo. And then here we do need to build the caravan because we need to get the capital bigger. Chop down this forest near Antium. It's going to grow next turn. But yeah, it's kind of this kind of sucks right now. Mr. Jarvis says, if J-Law didn't start on Tundra Cap, this, <laughs> this would be a really close game. Yeah, it's, oh, damn it, the spy. Yeah. We actually, I mean, we should probably just keep this by an Almaty for happiness. It's also going to gift us units. And it will gift us Hussars when we get to Artillery. Yeah, thanks for the note on the spy. I was, I was totally going to forget as well. We need to get a forge in here. Is there a reason we can't build a forge? Because we're on like a plains hill or something, or do we just we just don't have the tech of metal casting? We can't get there yet. We need and this is more food here, but we don't need the growth right now. Unless we find a way to get more happiness. I mean this is more happiness, the circus. Eight turn border growth out there. Okay, well we can wait. Bogota and Brazil now allies. That's unfortunate. Bogota's right down here. We need to build some art. We need to get some artists actually with our artist guild. Our Humbra goes. Antium grew. Probably a little bit more food. Maybe we need a bank if we're going to war. No for warrior rush. Grows. Could work the science or the universe. The university slot's better though. Not a lot here. No for Warrior Rush has built its market. Is the stables good? So one tile stables. But anything for production would be helpful. A bank for gold would be good as well. Arbors, not really needed. Stable. Drop out a one turn workboat. That's a bit of food. Yeah, three iron forge is really good. Even on Tundra Iron, it makes it a four yield tile. So definitely workable. Yeah, exactly. Like a three iron forge is what we want here. For sure. We're not doing too... We're really not doing too bad in terms of our sim at all. 58 population turned 96. It's just Brazil's is ludicrous. Even Songhai is doing really well. But yeah, we need to claim some of those hills. We've got Machu and it's barely making a difference. And we can give this Spearman now. Hopefully the spy doesn't take too long to rig the elections there. Losing grasp on Almaty. Yeah, we get that. Yeah, there goes leaning already. Wow. Kind of crazy, but at least we can open rationalism. And we've got metal casting, and we need to propose something like... Oh, we can't even propose world religion. Uh, What do we propose? I mean, it's got to be not this. So anything that's not that is good, as far as I'm concerned. What's this? Judaism. I want it. Let's get workshops. I don't know what happened to that missionary. Hopefully it gets voted down anyway and we don't have to worry about it. We're going to get a little bit more happiness now. So maybe we can unwork this uni slot and drop it there for some food. Then this hill is done. Need to maybe come back. Finish chopping some stuff. Aya's life needs to go on to some more production. Working university slots is really killing our production there. But there's not a lot we can do about it. Ravenloft is okay. It can't grow next turn. Need a workshop after this. And then maybe a bank if we're going to war. Oh, Jarvis says not a forge in the cap. Oh, whoops, never mind. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, we're, we're building this first, and then there's like workshops and forges available. Forge is probably just about worse than the workshop, but we want both for sure. And um, we got we got a knight now. That's perfect. We want a knight. Brazil is mostly open terrain, so we can take shock. We got this incense deal. We've got no trades, which is another reason why our happiness is struggling so badly. Workshop here for sure. Caravan needs to go from Kume to the capital. When are we going to border grow to something useful? 60 gold for the copper. Don't really want to spend 60 gold on that. It's five turns until we get the citrus. We can wait for that. I'd rather buy one of these, a couple of these hills. Let's wait two turns and then buy both. But yeah, workshops first, I think. we just got no food in every city. Like, all of our cities are bad food. Which is why this is such a struggle. We're only 2% behind, though. But I'm pretty sure that's because we've got compass and they don't. Oh, no, no, no. What am I talking about? They do, they do, of course, have compass. They're in for leaning. But they're not in for banking yet. And then we want to go for printing press, followed by straight to dynamite. We can even maybe try and start a conquest with cannons. Armour T is down to 60. We want to keep giving them units if we can. We can't do it yet, but we'll give them the warrior next. All of this stuff is just not going to be useful for us in an artillery push. And we're going to solve our happiness pretty much once we get this citrus online. There we go, so Knight in Antium. Wait up there maybe and just do some stuff here. Uh, yeah, I'll just take some more food here. Nothing really major. Got this caravan that needs to go to uh, Ravenloft. That's going to give us more food in the capital now, that's perfect. Then we need to get an artist skill maybe at some point. Or we can just be backwards people culturally for the whole game. Might work. I mean, we can. We know we can outgrow the other player, this Songhai player. The problem is just... Brazil is going to kill us otherwise. And there's not a lot we can do about it. What are we going to do? We wait, wait for the border growth here, I guess. Once we get workshops up, we'll be better in all of these cities. And then, yeah, we're just going to wait for the citrus up here. There's nothing really else to do. Okay. Yeah, Schmitzky says, gift a unit and then walk to Armity for another quick influence gift in their borders. Yeah, something like that. I know that's how it works. Just keep gifting away all of this stuff. There goes Hagia Sophia for America. That's fine. Food's okay. We're working our uni slots. We've got our gardens and things. Need to wait for this sheep to come online. We still haven't improved this food tile over there, actually. What are we doing here? Two turns until border growth. What are we growing to? Ah, oh, grassland over there. Perfect. Here are marsh. We need Armity to give us a good quest. And this is food back from No for Warrior Rush to Kume. It's going to make it a better city. We could, I mean, we could have done something like that, but we're kind of okay. Once we get a rig in as well, that's going to hopefully shore the influence up a bit more, and we will rig next turn. This is a free population point in here. We said we were going to wait until we got to 150 and then just buy these two tiles quickly next to Brasilia. And we can even claim this one. And then that's going to give like three tile platform to shoot with artilleries if we need it. No longer ally of Armati. Oh, did we not rig in there? I thought we rigged the election. Oh, 
Armor tea. What? That's a bit confusing. Order grew to a sheep. Oh, perfect. Open borders, sure. Who may grow? Workshop in three. We need to get happy again. We'll have to build some zoos. A temple here might be happiness, will it? We never. We are actually going to get that religion. So temple happiness is temple happiness. Ah, oh, we've met Ethiopia finally. Oh, he's got marble, does he? Maybe we can do sugar for copper. And then if if he does that, we'll have to buy the copper that's here. Okay, we can buy the copper and then we can stay happy with Captain Yak. And we'll have to wait a couple more turns then for something like that. Hopefully when our gift comes through, that'll be okay. And this cargo needs to go to Kume. Turn 101. We got decent population. But it's just not as much as the guy with all the obscene wonders. This work is a bit pointless down here. Mitsuki says, I do sometimes have the same issue with CS rigging. It does look like that when you lose ally stasis. It, it, it just does forget to rig it after. Oh, are you serious? That's so annoying. Really on the same turn with like a rigging forget? I wonder if it's a multiplayer bug because I've never... I mean, I've never been close to it enough to worry about it on single player. That's unfortunate. We really were using those gems as well. Two turns until we get the citrus. We need to start building gold. Oh, it sucks to be us, I guess. Hume loves the king. At least there's that. And this sheep is actually an excellent title. We need to be working it. Oh, this city's got stables. So we want to do that, I think. Then we'll grow a bit. We're building a bank right now, but we do need to switch to zoos as soon as we get the chance. Is a stable here okay? I mean, a stable here is production. Improve stuff around here. We're doing fine right now. I mean, we can do this while we're unhappy. We need to actually get a barracks here. Just focus on improving more tiles. I think build a zoo soon in the cap. Might need a garden. Now, it's really annoying about Armity. Literally forgetting to rig. We got happy now, though. I don't know why that was. Oh, because our, our gift came through for one turn. That's annoying. At least we got this forge down now, and that's given our capital a nice production boost. Something like a bank would be very good. Don't really need guilds, do we? Something that's one turn, though, wouldn't be bad. A bank would be good. Without a guard, I mean, we do need a garden. If we want some more scientists from the city, we'll need it. Antium about to grow, that's fine. Got three happiness, but we're about to go unhappy and then get a couple more. Unfortunately, we can't ally any city-states. 71 influence behind in Mogadishu. They're also gems. Bogota is our enemy. Maybe we should, like, kill Bogota in some sort of, like, faint attack. Could do that. Hey, we got a religion here. Nice. A little bit of faith, I guess. Production if the city has a specialist. We're actually building a temple for happiness and no for warrior rush. And we can go to our zoos to keep happy. Our black vegetable built forbidden. Here goes the workshop. I mean, we need to prepare for war at some point, don't we? We finished printing press. We're underneath the tech steel.
Yeah, let's just prep for war. I don't see why we would... Um, why we would be building an 8-ton zoo to do any more here. So how many turns do we need? 14, 24, apparently 29, but our, our tech will be faster than that. It'll be like 20 turns when we're ready, which means we do need to start preparing now if we're going to do it. We can grow next turn here if we find a bit of food, but I don't think we will. I don't know what we're doing with this worker. It's being pointless. Might need to delete some workers for gold. Oh, it's double bot again. Bigfollows.com is what I need to ban. I need to remember that. Not sure why we're getting so many bots today. I haven't had this many bots in an evening for a while. Need to try and find a way to sneak the barracks into the building queue. I am the Sistine Chapel now, really. May purchase with faith. What can we get? Oh, just missionaries and stuff. We can buy a pagoda here, though. There's no reason not to buy a pagoda. We're not going to use our faith for anything. All right, let's push barracks again. I guess we'll do useless things with... No, we'll do useless things with the worker for a bit. But yeah, this is tough. We have to kill this guy to win the game and then Lord knows what. His life can grow. That might be as big as this city ever gets. Uh, he's got citrus. No, we've got cit we're getting citrus online. Bobby is back. Modify. We need spices, not citrus. Let's see, 14, 24. See, so we need to, I think, we, I mean, we have to push for artillery here. There's no point doing anything else. And we'll just see what we can do. We've got a good chunk of happiness again, which is quite nice. I don't know where we found that. But everything is good right now. Need to work a little bit of gold over the production. Get a bank out to pay for upgrades and start stacking gold. And then we've got steel done. Let's hope this guy is going up that way. But maybe three turns into gunpowder. And hopefully he can be convinced that gunpowder's the AI. 
Yeah, we got great happiness now. Perfect. So I think this is what we do. I mean, there's nothing else to do about this. We should have bought some tiles, though. These ones ages ago. Uh, now, this city's not doing very well. I guess we can unwork the uni slot and then work some of this. And then grow back into the uni slot soon. Don't need the zoo yet. Let's get a barracks first. And get this stable up. We're still doing useless things with these workers. I mean, these have to sit here. It's the only thing they can do that's useful. There's some marsh or something. No, for warrior rush is going to grow. And then we just have to hope to out-tech this other guy, maybe. Armity wants us to generate a great profit. Good luck with that. Is there actually a religion going? There isn't even a religion going. Uh, Rough Mercy's joins the stream today. Welcome to the stream, Rough. In fact, before I carry on, I'm going to take a quick toilet break and turn the lights on. Oh, actually, I'll do it next turn. We'll go armories now as well in all of these other cities. Apparently we've acquired citrus for a We Love the King's Day. But this is time to go all in. Not like we've got much else to give, really. Work a uni slot now as well. It's almost as if we want to work two because we've got so much food. Probably do. Maybe put a um, feigner turn into a road and then put a trading post down or something. And then go here like this. In you know, his orders, do nothing. Okay, and wait. Uh, this can do. This can come back. I mean, we'll want a road up here as well eventually. So we'll maybe put some roads in. Anyway, I'm going to be, be right back and then I'll recap this game for Rough. So see you in just a minute. Okay, we're back. Yeah, so going and summing the game up pretty well. Tundra Star, Inland Sea, Old Faithful plus Decoy Citrus, five cities before National College, but Brazil is going crazy. I only met Brazil and then Songhai for the longest time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the basic problem right now is that Brazil got three salt in the capital, two plains horses, two iron, ivory in the capital, a, a granary resource, coastal with a fish, and a river. Basically is what happened. And so Brazil is just running away with the game right now. And there's not a lot that we can do to stop it. We got gifted a long swordsman. I don't know that we want that. Maybe give it back away to Armity. But yeah, Brazil has such a bad bias. I never see them get good games. Yeah. Well, in this game, sadly, they are. They got this. 30 pop Rio by a turn. About 109 probably at this point. We need to go for... Yeah, he's definitely going for industrialization. We need to go and make sure to bring metallurgy down to one turn. 
He's got no roads up. And then maybe something out here. As our demo's doing. Still like miles behind, of course we are. But we are joint top in tech, which is good. We're building this artist guild now. Do we actually want that? Or should we be building something like Himeji Castle? We don't really want to build Himeji Castle because that would tell him that we have a good a good game. What we want to do is build something like the Ironworks for unit production. Yeah, Russ says teaming time. Absolutely teaming time. Yeah, Brazil has Hang Gardens and Temple of Artemis. Exactly. That's why it's so overpowered. They wouldn't be so ridiculously far ahead otherwise. But yeah, that's why. It is definitely teaming time. We've enlisted the Songhai's help, so they're going to come join us. So now it's just a challenge of seeing if we can manage it, basically. Got to get his neighbours to skip labs and go oil together. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I mean, I've, we've actually asked him to go frigates and arties together. That's what we're going to try. Haven't done artilleries in quite a while. Because the black vegetable could skip labs and beat us all. Which is why I don't think... I think artillery would be a better choice. Uh, how do we put this bulb into stuff? How, mu how much is it worth? A thousand. We're really at the wrong time here, aren't we? It would show off our red fort, so maybe let's do it as close to the end of the turn as we possibly can. But we're not allowed to wait, so we won't wait. Needs to get a road in there. Trading post. Are we ready to start producing units soon? This this city sh really shouldn't be building a zoo. It should be building an armory. We actually do need to be spamming units soon, don't we? Can't trade with America. Oh, I mean, we, we can't hold this, but we can wait until the end of the turn to bulb it. Or we can plant it, but planting it doesn't feel like a good idea. Uh, how long have we got here? We actually need to be building Oxford, not this. Maybe. And then we need to be building units everywhere. We don't have long, though. Is we're going to have no more than about 12, 10 turns or something? So I don't know if we even have time for these armories. Let's at least pre-build our, our knights down to one turn. Let's do that. To see if we've even got time. And then we can switch back to cannons and stuff afterwards. Oh, no. I, oh, man. I, I'm supposed to bulb this thing now. I was meant to do that at the end of the turn. We'll just bulb it at the start of this one. It's fine. Oh, bad. oh Oblast Wolf says no legions. No, I didn't build any legions. I was hoping for a nice calm five city sim until we realized quite how massively far ahead Brazil was going to be. We should go. We should be going full out military production now, though. There's no need to grow here. Unless legions would actually be good. I mean, I guess they can build roads. We've got one knight here as well. And we've got okay gold. Let's just keep building some roads. And welcome to the stream, Oblast. Grin asks, is it wise to take Bogota when you war Brazil? I would like to, but I don't know that we'll have the time to do it. America's got a massive army. Our production is close though, which is good. We'll get this last round of growth everywhere and then we'll gear up for war. Work university slots or something. And we're just going to have to pause at 70 population. 
I mean, we can keep growing a bit, but we need to be working maximum production once it gets to this point. Hopefully, our next scientist is in nine as well, which is kind of good. We can use it to bulb through fertilizer. Yeah, so nine turns is when we're when we're at RT. So we made the best choice to skip building armories here. I guess we're going to have to do without promotions. It's okay. Not exactly the most sold on promotions ever for these units. Let's go max out production where we can. It's not really a lot here. I wonder if he's building roads down. He is actually building roads. He's building a road there. Hopefully he can see that we're building trading posts. Or perhaps he sees that we're coming to war. So, okay, so this horseman is about done. We can now build... Can we not do cannons yet? Oh, we've got chemistry in one turn. So we need to put one turn into the, the armory, or do we put a turn into a lancer? I mean, a lancer could be nice. And then this knight is also one turn, and we could put a turn into... I mean, it's not going to be worth it, is it? Anything's better than nothing, right? So we can maybe put a turn into, again, a lancer. Don't know what they'll do, but it's certainly something better than nothing. And a knight is one turn here. Guess we can do another lancer. But we want to build cannons. She's using up her horses a lot. Oh, trebuchet. Oh, of course, trebuchet. What an idiot I am. We could have put a turn into a trebuchet. F. <laughs> Big F indeed. What can we build? Oh, back to ironworks now. Light vegetable goes industrial. Got an industrialization. That's more than good enough for us. F, man. Th that wasted turn on the Lancers is so stupid. Five turn cannons, though. We could do something like that. This is almost going to finish. Do we? Are we going to risk it? Are we going to accidentally finish it? I doubt it. If we do, that's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Trebuchets. It's been so long since I did one of these artillery rushes. There's cannon into Lancer. This one, I guess we do its thing. Doing a stupid Lancer here. We actually want a cannon. And so we're building cannons almost everywhere. Uh-huh. We need to go and help out with roads at some point. Finish all of this. Antium's going to grow. Oh, we've got chemistry, which is some nice production. Perfect. And we're going to build the ironworks, and then I guess we can just spam cannons. Six turns until military science. We'll need to finish a couple of cannons. That's okay. He's top production. Still building that road, is he? He's doing hills. No units. I wonder if we should give this spearman away to Almaty. They could gift us some hussars. I mean, this spearman we might as well gift away. It's going to be more influence. But the production here for the cannon. Don't want to build this knight anymore. So we're on to a cannon. Uh, we're building pointless trading posts that we don't need to be doing around Ravenloft. I mean, this is all we need to do, right? So something like that, and then we can pull this worker back. He's actually built his road now. I mean, it's fair. Could delete one of these workers. Maybe the Biblos worker can go. I mean, it's always nice to have workers for war. But it also is probably costing us gold at this point. Uh, we don't really need to grow Ravenloft, do we? Where's the best gold trade route that we can do? Uh, yeah, the establish the route gets. So it's Ravenloft to Cahokia. That's cool. Gold per turn there. Find some more. How's Vegas' gold doing? 85 and 42 plus. 
Hopefully these random frigates are coming in from the Songhai. We need them. Our army is fifth. Make sure we're not finishing any military units here. Ravenloft grows. Good. Work the production a bit more. Send this for gold to Cahokia. 10 GPT. Very, very nice indeed. Two people at gunpowder. He's probably trying to chase us down now to RTs, which is why we need those frigates. Carry on in any case. We don't want to build, finish Oxford here. Stables, zoos, Himeji Castle, Red Fort. Who turned cannon, maybe? We can, like, drop out. We can put, like, a cannon in our queue for next time or something. Please don't accidentally finish Oxford, says FJS Sport. I oh, know, that would be such a shame, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be really bad. It'd be nice to get one cannon out at some point. Or to prepare for war with a barracks, maybe. Asleep, I think. But we can drop something like a stables up our queue. And pull the cannon down so it's hard to be seen. I know. There goes Taj. Wow. Okay. And we will most certainly finish the cannon. <laughs> We're not going to not. Work uni, work a uni slot, I guess, for the science. That's what we want to do in all of these cities now. Here, we're going to grow. It would be so me, though, to accidentally finish something like that. Then we can maybe drop a turn into a road at some point later. Don't really want to finish the trading post. How's our cannon redoing? We're going to finish a cannon here, but we are going to have at least two upgrades. So it's fine to finish a cannon and then do another cannon. So we can do that and then I don't know what we do with these workers. I mean, we need to get these workers closer to the front line, first of all. And then do some stuff here. Maybe just go wait in and around near the front in some of our cities. Buy's life's going to grow. I guess we can do this. But I don't know what we want. We want to work the workshop slot. In here, we're really not doing a lot in this city. It's just bad. In here, we're growing. Or well, we're not growing, I guess. Maybe we should work a uni slot here as well. And the workshop actually is not even worthwhile working in the capital yet. We can finish the cannon and then run it off. Quickly. And then just sit it right there, I guess. Inside our own borders. Uh, we can take maybe accuracy for a bit of open terrain. Uh, we're going to have enough gold for three upgrades. I mean, how many upgrades are we going to have enough gold for? So this is 95 from a cannon. So we've actually got enough for four upgrades right now. And we will have enough for five. So we want to finish these two cannons as well. And then we will need to make sure we've got some cavalry. We've just finished military science. We can maybe build some calves soon. Are we in RT in three? Yeah, we're doing production, production, production. Cannons, things like that. Artilleries into more cannons. Sounds good. 
Then we need to make sure we have some cavalries. We probably will be able to get a couple of upgrades from knights as well. So... Okay. Better be ready. Just wait here. And then we'll wait some of these workers inside our own territory. Okay. We need to make sure to queue our customary knight, I guess. He, he doesn't seem to have vision here, so I guess we can move the cannons up a bit. Up until the black vegetable ended. Let's just do that back. I entered the industrial era on military science. Yes. Oh, well, the game is up now. Let's go spy the black vegetable's capital. Rio, please. Unit promotion. Unit promotion. Well, religion, Judaism. Sure, we've got Judaism. Oh, the game is pretty much up now, so let's move the cannons forward. Have some fun cannon times. Only got a couple of turns until we get that scientist. Finishing the scientist will get us through fertilizer, and then we can Oxford through to dynamite. Do we want to finish the knight? We certainly don't want to be building a lancer. Go back to cannons. Pull the lancer down below the knight now. Uh, finishing this knight is fine because we'll be able to get a cavalry out. Captain Yak has declared war in America. Okay. The pressure. I'm feeling it. And the game is most certainly up. Move the cannon out. I don't really know what he's up to. How's our army score doing? Third behind America, who's very much shielding us. Ethiopia's got bottom army. Why on earth is he warring America? I think he's just having lols. I don't know what else he could be doing. We got one turn roads everywhere. We do. Um, stop. Keep building trading posts. We don't want to put the roads down until the last minute. Or do we? I mean, the game is very much up now. So maybe we just need to move over. Oh, we'll move over. Do we move over this turn? We move over next turn is when we move over. If we're going to move over next turn, we can finish the trading post now. That's going to make him feel better. And then we can afford... We're still building the stable. We don't want that. Maybe get a cavalry in the queue. Happily build some army now. Hopefully this guy's got a load of frigates. Otherwise, we're pretty screwed. Where is he? I think we got him. This is going to be good. Looking forward to a bit of the artillery showdown. World's fair past. Don't really need to work that build that, do we? No. The worker doesn't need to be there, eh, Mr. Vegetable? Do we need to garrison it with a knight or something? We can upgrade these knights now. Maybe. So we can like finish a road.
He's got a knight coming. We should probably do something with cavalries. We can do this, and then we can get as close as we can. And this worker got there, it can. Perfect. Wait there, sleep, maybe. Or we can head up here. Um, we can just sleep these cannons. They don't need to do a lot. Finish the calves. Artilleries, hopefully, in a next turn or something. We need to get to work on a cavalry. Uh, how many RTs do we have? We've got, like, four cannons right now. We can only up actually afford to upgrade that many. We don't have a lot of gold available. So we definitely shouldn't build any more. And then... I guess next turn we'll do Oxford. I just wanted to make sure we didn't um, get the game up too much. We can go fertilizer uh, towards schools. Bulb. Oxford. Take secularism. A bit more science. Cavalry comes forwards. Songhai pikemen's that sort of appeared. We should just vote for the Songhai. Something like that. I don't really know. Did then um, world ideology pass? It actually did. Okay, so we don't want to finish this cannon. It needs to be a cavalry. Otherwise, we're quite good. And then we'll have enough gold. Does he have any gold? Okay. 200 gold then. And that way we can actually finish a cannon. Like that. And then we're all kind of good. He's got knights. How's our army doing? 70k. You better be ready. I don't know, put some roads down or something. Okay. Well, next turn we're in. And we just got gifted a Hussar. It's perfect. Okay, perfect. So we got this Hussar. Can take up a nice promotion. That's good. Upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade. Could actually get another promotion on the, I guess, protect medic or something. We need to be building artilleries, not this Lancer. We need to be building a one turn artillery here in the capital. It's where the business end is. It may grow. Guess we don't really have a lot. I didn't realize that was a three. Oh, because we've got fertilizer. That's why our units are actually growing. Our stuff is actually growing. Have a look, see what's here. Okay. Well, it's Expos versus Artie's time. We've got all of this cavalry.
Jack's out. Okay. Guess just wait and drop back. And then what have we got? Where did this guy go in industrial era on? Coal, apparently. He wants to send me money, that's fine. Okay, uh, we've got road here, so probably something like, we need to get the arties up now. This one, can it attack? It cannot. We can perhaps attack from here. So we'll, we need to set up, that's S. Okay, move up here. And then push in. Set up for ranged attack, and then we can actually attack stuff. Set up for ranged attack and actually attack stuff. Uh, this guy gave us a pikeman, that's nice of him. Set up for ranged attack. Actually attack stuff. Kill that crossbow. And then what do we got? We got this here. You just go running around in his back lines with his cavalry. That seems like a good idea. Through in Antium. We're being attacked by a lot of city states now. It's fine, I guess. We can maybe cover the city state units with some of the stuff we got around the back. And then build some cavalry. Why are we unhappy all of a sudden? Yeah. Guessing we were getting happiness from something somewhere. It's not the best thing in the world to be unhappy right now. But I guess it'll have to do. Hopefully we can push him out of Brasilia soon. Production for no for Warrior Rush, for sure. We can grow in the capital and then see what's what. We have 100k. Oh, yeah, that's my bad. Kick yak. We need to get a pillage off in here before we run back. I've got a lot of lag, actually. I guess we're not getting first move. We can maybe actually just come in and start getting rid of some of these crossbows. What's he doing in Rio as well? The knight, fine. Oh, who did we lose? Oh, Bobby. That fair, the first move went off. See what we can kill now. Finish up some rows that we've got. Push this pikeman in. Pull this up. Set up to shoot. 
and we can shoot again. We can actually move up one more and shoot and kill. Maybe just attack that. Push this up. Set up and just shoot the... Wow, we can just kill Brasilia. Okay, we couldn't actually get out there. Got another one though now. We can actually just take the city soon. We've got all of this artillery that can get to work here. I guess he's rejoining. Yeah, he's rejoining. We can actually kill the city next turn, can't we? Like three shots. A couple of cavs that can shoot. Like four shots. Yeah, we only got three shots, don't we? So we can't take the city. I mean, it might be almost enough to take the city. And that's the first thing we should do, is just get rid of Brasilia, and then we can break into his lands. Armati's going to fight Mogadishu. We just need enough cavalry to do damage to all of his stuff. And to be on the Hussar, but we don't have first move here. It's not bad, though. Just want to push production in here for sure. And more cavs afterwards. We're a bit short on cavalries right now. This lance is a bit... I mean, this lance is the soonest unit that we can get. But it's like a three turns for a cavalry, which is just cavalry, which is just overall better for us. We need to pillage and back this thing out, probably. We also don't have enough cavalry over here, so maybe we need to pillage over here. I mean, the first thing he's going to do is get the Hussar. I mean, we don't have first move, so that's going to die. But we need to pillage off elsewhere to make sure that none of our other units die, probably. So I think this is the one that we need to protect. We've got another cav coming. Hopefully we do this. Ross says, if we have hammers in the Lancer, I think it's good versus his knights. That's a good point, actually. I mean, we do have hammers in the Lancer. It, it, it does come sooner. I don't really know what would be the better choice. Just the stronger unit or what? I mean, the question is, how do we recover after the RT push? And I guess it's just go breed schools and skip labs to go kill Songhai in somehow. I don't even know how we do it. Tanks. <laughs> so that we can run across the map, maybe. I don't even know. But yeah, Knights is all he's got. If we take Brasilia, then we have a city. Get rid of some of these crossbows, and then the only damage he can do is slam damage, which really benefits us a lot. So, okay, so we need to first move now. It's probably the same with the versus mounted bonus. Okay, so but it comes a couple of turns earlier, which is what we want. Lol, I think I've crashed now. Uh... At Bobby Okay, so I've crashed now That's not gone well <laughs> Ross says scrap go new plus lol <laughs> Cheeky Roth Sadly I can't actually um... I can't afford to play one more game after this As much as I would love to play with you But who knows how... I mean, at this point, it's basically... It basically has to decide on what Songhai does after we get back into him. This is fun. Yeah, more more ironclad sounds fun. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> we don't speak of the ironclads on, on this channel. 
No, actually, I appreciated the meme clads. It's kind of funny. Although I maintain I, <laughs> I, I didn't agree with using meme clads, but they worked. They killed a city. Apparently I lost my auto save for 121. Not sure what that's about. Let me get my lobby link for everybody. This is fun though. Artillery rush. Don't do this every day. It's not every day we think artillery rush is the best ploy. But today I think it was. I mean, I don't I don't know the black vegetable, but I'm trying to play as if um, I'm trying to play as if the black vegetable is going to do the correct thing. And if I was the black vegetable, the correct thing to do would be to skip research labs for battleships and or bombers and or really anything and then come kill both myself and the Songhai. And his tech is just so good he can afford to do that. I would have gone schools into artillery, but I mean he's 100% going to be first to ideology and get freedom. Plus, because we're behind in tech, if we skip for oil, he can still get labs up and have a reasonable shot of going for oil units himself. All he has to do is be able to defend for a few turns with infantry, which he could well have done. But yeah, so yeah, Russ is, yeah, I missed a lot of this, but I think oil was too late for us. I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. I think so. If the Black Vegetable is a good player and skips labs, we lose. That is just 100% the case. So we have to do this now. If also, if he skips lab, he, if he skips labs, he wins. And I know Vegetable watches my channel and knows that skipping labs to do something like this is a thing. Black Vegetable is a very good player, especially in SimCity. So, yeah. I oh, know. Which means that we basically had to go, go artillery here. Of course, I would have done all-in frigates if we were coastal, but we weren't coastal. So it had to be artillery is the case. I, I'm just really disappointed that we didn't get backed up by the Songhai. The Songhai basically greeted SimCity here without realizing that we needed their help. And so now they've greeted SimCity, which makes the game a little bit more difficult for us. I don't know how much more difficult, but certainly a bit more difficult. Just gonna lift the microphone quickly. There we go. Hopefully that's a bit better. I think we're ready to start the game. But yeah, Russ says, yeah, they've lost everyone this game, if I had to guess. Wait, wait, what do you mean they've lost everyone? The game if I had to guess. Oh yeah, the song high. Yeah, they might have done. That would be my bet as well. It really does depend how, how fast we can sweep through Ethiopia now. They were miles away from their own cavalry. And so it depends on whether or not they've got any scientists to boost them there faster. But yeah, we've got... This is going to be better. But yeah, Ruff said, yeah, on reflection, tributing city-states all game would have been better with your meme clads. I mean, it is... I To be honest, I don't know. Like, I... If you think that you can kill the Shoshone, slowing me down is probably the correct play. The difference is, can you kill the Shoshone after doing everything that you've done and then coming back to get them when their tech lead, production lead, beat you to statue and got like 50% more prod? That was kind of the thing that I was thinking about there. Like, tributing city-states for mass gold to purchase a load of units would have been really, really nice. And Because the thing is as well, if you attack me and I don't die which of course i don't die and there's no reason for me to die i just became become an all-game enemy and then i don't know it, it may well have been the better play but it's just shoshone if they come for you i guess that's it if you do it like that and that is what happened maybe i don't really i didn't really see the land but alas we've got this game to handle instead and this is a fun all-in arty rush <laughs> so we're gonna have to see what we can do we can go up to schools next, build some schools, and then probably just go straight back for tanks. If I'm guessing it's what I have to do right now. I I mean, we could try and take the lands we've been given and outsim the Songhai to stealth, which actually could be a thing. Or we can try tanks. <laughs> I know which one I prefer. 
There's tanks, but because we've got one one of our followers seems to seems to think that land ships don't work. I mean, we don't have the culture to go for stealth bombers. Yeah, we could just not stop and try an arty as well. I'm certainly thinking that. If we can run over there fast enough, we could get some stuff. He's got a random city in here that we can just leave alone and we can just like walk up here. Uh, we need to quickly unready up. Needs to be ready for our first moves. We could go past and get the song high with artillery as well. He's only going to have ships. I doubt he's building any military apart from that. We got 100k. Probably even better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's true. Like, yeah. Why not? Let's stop by this and burn it and then, like, run up. And maybe that gives us room to sim if it has to be the case. I wonder if that's what our workers can do. Instead of spraying roads everywhere around here. Because he's got roads himself. Probably. Instead of spraying roads everywhere, we could just start building roads somewhat over towards the city now. We just need to get rid of some of this army and then we are golden and we are in, right? I mean, we're ready. I haven't got any moves left. But it's good that he spammed knights because that means the only things he can do is slam. Yeah, I'd start a road to Songhai. Yeah, good point. Yeah, we'll do it at the end of the next turn. We, we don't need any of these roads. We just need to make sure that we try and get our pillages off. One, two, three pillages that need to go off here. And then we probably just kill this crossbowman. And then can we just attack this and cycle? Okay, and we can shoot this. Uh, he's tried to cut us off here, but I don't really get that. Because we can shoot this knight down now. Got another cavalry here. We're next to a city. Build a road. Then we've got this that can... We should honestly just bring this into city range while we're here. And then set it up. We're having a good old lag fest. And then we've got another artillery. We can take a promotion. We can shoot over these mountains. Set it up. And we can take the city next turn. We need to get a pillage off with that if we can. But we know he's got first move on us. Got a city state incoming. Let's just sit this worker in here. A city state incoming here as well. And these roads, we can just get to building this Songhai road. Let's go here, maybe, and then... What do, we, what do we do? Okay, that's good. We want him to recap here make, to make the city smaller. That's true. He's moved this hard. The tech should have been a clear giveaway. Yeah, I mean, our tech moved fast. If he wasn't concentrating in the five turns that it took us to make this, then, you know, he actually would have, he actually would have been in trouble because we did hide it rather okay. But yeah, you're right. Like, the moment he saw moment he saw steel go down oh you say no i mean i don't care if he takes some cities you reckon we should have said no Oh, oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say no as in we need his help, of course. We do need his help. We need to try and get our pillage off here if we can. He's going to kill this unit, though, no doubt. But this is what we need to pillage on. Everything else is a bit superfluous. Yeah, we lose unless he goes all in frigs. Yeah, exactly. Green Nordic says, are you winning? Been gone a couple of hours. Yeah, let's try and get this pillage off. I mean, we're going to lose the unit. It's pretty much guaranteed at this point. 
Oh, instant heal as well. Nice. Okay, good. See if we can maybe kill it here. Uh, I guess we raise. Got an instant heal on this cavalry. They can start taking some units. And then we can move up and do some shooting. He's, he's never going to recap this thing. We just need to push past with what we've got. Okay. Oh, Ruff says, I've got my lobby. Good luck. Thanks, Ruff. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, are we winning? Um, It's undecided yet, actually, whether or not we're winning. We really don't know how this has gone. We, we're being pillaged to death, though, by the city-state. We've got a general, some more artilleries. He's got a general now too. Got a lot we can do here though. And our Lancer that can take shock. Oh, Bobby's got a deal. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly, we could do with more deals. Have you got any more? But let's see. Uh, yeah, Ruff is going to stream, Gurren. Ruff always streams his games. It's Friday night. I believe that's his scheduled stream day as well. We've probably got enough workers here. Need to bring some back to go and deal with all the damage the city-states have caused us. It's Saturday morning. Oh, yeah, it's true. Ruff's Saturday morning stream. I mustn't get it wrong. If we can, we can slam this general. And then what we wanted to do is maybe go for some roads through Almaty, and then connect up this road so that we can move the artillery around. He's got his own cavalry now. We can sell some buildings here. Workshop is fine. We're raising the city. But yeah, Saturday morning. <laughs> but yeah, are we winning? It's really don't know right now. We'll have to see. Uh, we, we don't really need to, be, need to be building this though. We need a cav. Ahead of the armory here. And then we're doing good stuff otherwise. See if we can get this general. Could be good. Oh, I turned off yields. Don't know what else I turned off the grid. Don't really want to do anything here. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, we want to try and get this general killed if possible. We should be able to take the citadel if he plants one. Got an engineer over there. Yeah, we like slam and then slam. Something like that. We need to get the artilleries in to go after the cavalries. I wonder if he'll give us some... Oh. Let's just wait then and see what happens at the start of the turn. Okay. Just need to push this forward now. Is he general somewhere? No idea. No, his general's back there now. This isn't on a road. This stuff is on a road, though. Another, another cavalry here. We need to start occupying some positions. Right up the front. Let's see where we can get artillery. 
Like there. Push this cab over. Take some promotions. Can we get a road here? No, we can't. So we need to wait or turn for these. What can we do here? Good, this guy's coming next turn. Green Island says, what's the objective from war with Vegetable Man? To end the player who was going to win otherwise. Pretty much the only objective here right now, sadly. Can't really do a lot else of anything else. And we can delete and sell another building like the university. Choose production here. Oh, we have to pick a courthouse. See if we can do this. Uh oh. Huh. Well, you could do with another cav. We need 62 gold. Have we still got friendship with the Songhai? We do. Let's kill this cavalry. Well, we've got more than enough units to come up here. Okay, good. And that means we can take another cav up here. We're building a stables down here. That doesn't seem wise. We still need more cavalry. We need melee units right now. He's not killed any artillery yet, so we've accumulated quite a large number. And then, yeah, these workers can come help. Maybe we can get another Hussar off Almaty soon. Be nice. Do with a road under here as well. This caravan was going to the cap. Guess it can stay that way. Might get pillaged by the city state actually. Uh, the worker. Yeah, it's got nothing to do. Maybe just embark it. Okay, that's another unit down. Go on, set up and bombard already. Oh, there we go, he's moving that out now. Perfect, time to push then. He's got this general here. I don't know what he's going to do with it. Better late than never for this guy though. We need to get these city-state units out of our hair. Building some lancers now. It's kind of crazy. Let's get back on the roads. This is an artillery. He's built Brandenburg for another general. Seems okay. Go back and start fixing some tiles here. Armati's blocked us off. Go 
Got another cav to move up. Need to build a road. He's actually put a citadel down now. We can just handle that with our... This is going to go... Oh, the DPN joins the stream, says... Um, hey, PC, welcome to the stream, the DPN. You've just caught us as we're going all in RT rushes here. Having a bit of fun. Doing our thing. Get rid of this amphitheater. That's that 39 text. We got 42. 42. We're raising Brasilia. Maybe we should have kept it. Yeah, it's all right. We'll take Salvador. It's a better city. Let's see. So what can we do here? And then we need to probably actually just shoot this. Uh, we got what, any more shots anywhere? I actually think we do. We might have noob this capturing of the citadel. We've got the citadel now. Can we kill this? No. He's now done another citadel. Uh, how many moves is it going to take? One, two, three. It's fine. And then we need to push forward with what else we've got. Some artilleries can move forward, perhaps. Yeah, like that. That's perfect. We've got another cavalry that we need to move up. Then we can handle the rest of this war. What have we got going on here? This stuff's still being troublesome. The city state's not a worry anymore. Just need to take our oh no. Take our instant heal and move up. And take our artillery and also move it up. Whilst we try our best to do derpy stuff with Armity. Uh, will we want roads in here? Probably not. We just need to get roads there. Deal proposed. Uh, see, ivory for silk. Okay. We need to do something with our general. Like up here is okay. But we got to wait until next turn here. We need to go for a capital snipe as well at some point soon. We're just getting all of our tiles pillaged by this Biblos pikeman right now that's having a whale of a time. That will die and then we can get in and um, take this next citadel in the turn after. Road please. Right here. Don't know what we do about the roads right now. Make it look like we're doing a quest to Armity. Which we are. Oh, we can pillage here, can we? Got 12 gold from a mine. I don't know where our happiness went. Don't want to sell any happiness buildings here. Sell the water mill, though. We didn't lose any city-states. Oh, we lost our Ethiopia deal is what happened. Happy is not the most ideal thing ever. But we don't need all of these roads in here anymore, though. Rip that up. Stop paying for it.
Now what can we do here? Set up and bombard, perhaps. Try and do so. I re did I really bring my Mogadishu worker? Lol. Okay, now we need to bring the artillery up. Shoot these now. While we bring more units forward. Let's get them on the roads, I think. It's probably the best thing that we can do with this stuff right now. We finally kill that pikeman. Guess not. And why are we building an artist guild? We completed the stables. Don't need to be building an armory here. This needs to be another cavalry. And sell another building here. Just the shrine will do. We've got four moves here. Nice, Sao Paulo's down. We got there. He's going to try and rebuild the citadel. Okay, I'm not sure why I, why you would do that. I guess it makes us kill the worker. But we're just going to take... We're just going to Citadel here. And he's got no way to stop that. Okay. These roads are done now. So we can make it look like we're we're off, basically. Got this worker that's not doing anything either. It maybe help clean up some roads around here that we don't need anymore. Can we just take this back? Nice. <laughs> and then the cavalry can sleep. And we are ready for the next turn. Probably the thing that we want to do right now is just general here. And then get maybe our just our lancer up here or something. The world's fair was completed. Instant heal, pillage. Get back into our tile. Up there. And then we need to probably just take out this rifleman if we can. And land on enemy shores. Volley for sure on here. Okay, we've made him come out, apparently. We can even maybe kill this thing now, then. This has also got volley. We need to just get into good positions. Where's the best spot for us to place this right now? Probably right there. And then this, where can it go? Right there. Perfect. We've got hold of these workers and we can now land. And then this worker can come back. Got a new Lancer. Oh, and if we need to throttle down and do scientific theory soon. Scott says, is the unit death sound sound funny? <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, it's the unit death sound. I don't really know. Let's build a cavalry and see where we get to with it. Move up here. And a Lancer to come. We should probably throttle down and sim though at some point. And I think we do that very soon. Let's 
keep repairing tiles in our expansions. American profit here, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yeah, oh, what does Expo mean in the chat box, says Green Idex? So Expo, he means expansion in this case. So he's going to go try and take Salvador. Need to sell the granary here now too. We can definitely rip up this road. Yeah, it's a bit hard to... It's usually called like expand or something. That would be the way that I would call it. But this guy wants to call it expo, so that's fine. We can maybe repair our citadel now. We already got the repair in of this citadel too, so we can repair it for extra damage next turn. But the black vegetable's certainly dead, I think, which is good news. You just need to work out the quickest way to do it. Okay. Right, well, let's um let's get a pillage here then. And then he's got this lancer. Would it just like to land my lancer and pull this cav up here? Move that over. Set up. Set up. And then what do we have to figure out? We need to move this one up up one. Get pillage down. Do some bombardment on Rio. Something with a promotion. That can go up there. Can any of these move in and like shoot this turn? Let's try it. It's like all roaded, we might. Where yeah, we can. Is this a road? It's not. Okay. A okay, shoot. And we can set up here. Yes, we can repair a task since we're going to keep it. <laughs> we can go public schools everywhere. Because we don't need any more military to end this. <laughs> we're, we're burning the Forbidden Palace. What a derp. Oh, give me the public school. And then I guess we can go for uh, industrialization. And we want to go public schools everywhere. Buy a pagoda for the happiness. And in here, we also want a public school. Good. And so we're all on public schools now. Perfect. This is Pikes being annoying. We got a luxury pillaged. Can't believe it. We are actually burning the Forbidden Palace. How dumb is that? Let's just clean up some roads. Heal this here. Block him off. I uh, don't really need to do a lot with this. Just delete some roads that we know we don't need. Okay, are we, are we done with this turn? I guess we wait. Don't really want to pillage the ivory if we don't have to. And we have to remember this tile we repaired. We're not allowed to pillage. All right. Well, we should be able to capture the capital. Be a nice city. Apparently, I had a deal end with someone. Uh, please.
Okay. Got the capital. That tie between Sao Paulo and Brasilia remains loyal to Brazil. <laughs> Lol. I guess that's true. Not anymore, though. We get a deal. Come back. I don't really know what we had come through. I think I just had delayed sound effects. But at least we got the salt cap now. We can repair our tile that is now rightfully ours. Burn temple happiness, I guess. It's not useful there anyway. City State came and took our worker. He says got rid of it. But we'll see how this how this has gone for us now. And then we'll see. We can kick the black vegetable. There we go. Oh, Black Vegetable, welcome. It says, oh man, I was ha having such a good game. Too good, of course. Oh, well. But yeah, yeah. You made yourself look mighty tasty, says Giron. Yeah, GG, Vegetable, indeed. Yeah, thanks for the game. I mean, you were having a ridiculously good game. We need to button down and sim, though, now. For sure. This guy, we were thinking of going on the attack. Yeah, not having... Oh, you didn't have coal, Veg. Oh, that really sucks. I imagine you could have gone for Freedom Foreign Legions or something if you'd done that. I mean, it's the reason that we picked the timing that we did is to try and avoid that as much as we possibly could. Yeah, exactly. Foreign Legions would have been able to hold up. I don't know that Foreign Legions would have stopped this because I haven't got much experience. I've seen this kill Foreign Legions. So it's about whether or not it's... Um, It would have been effective anything else. We need to go fix some tiles. That I can't believe I burned Forbidden Palace. It's definitely too late to save it now. Um, Green Idick says, Were you badly prepared for war or was the 2v1 too much? I think, the, I mean, the, the reason why what we did works so well is because of the, because of the decision we forced him to make. We forced him to make a, a decision which was bad every single way he looked at it. But yeah, America had 100k, which stopped. I mean, if it, if it helps Black Vegetable, I pre-built everything, so I wouldn't have been showing army score. The thing to check would have been the tech. I mean, if we think about it a bit, me going in on... Um, I, so I went into the industrial era on military science. That is about the latest giveaway that you can get. But the moment you saw somebody going gunpowder... Or, you know, I even got metallurgy and chemistry quite quickly. And then there was a bit of a delay until military science and fertilizer. That would have been how you check. Because I did a lot of pre-building. A lot of pre-building. We'll drop this spy into America. Yeah, I only noticed when you entered industrial, but by then it was too late. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, AI also goes gunpowder. Exactly. That's what I was hoping to exploit as well. That you would think that the AI would be going gunpowder. <laughs> Which is, I mean, it kind of sucks because that is something that they do. And I very much hoped and tried to exploit that for my own gain. Can we actually get anywhere with these?
Let's just go in and finish this off. I honestly don't know if we keep Salvador yet. I haven't thought about it properly. When Brasilia goes, we'll be able to do something. Uh, and then keep removing roads. But yeah, exactly. American gunpowder is like... They, I mean, they were there for so long and the AI was quite strong. So I don't blame it at all, actually. So we're going to start I don't know if there's anything you could have done better. Uh, the, the point of going all in artillery like this is because it forces you into a hard decision. Like, how do you how do you respond? You have to go all in cabs at least to do it. Is Songhai building Temple of Artemis? Is, is Songhai burning? Oh, did you build Toa in Sao Paulo? Oh, no, they actually are. We're burning all of your wonders and it sucks. We built an army towards the Songhai here, but apparently they've teched artillery. So it's probably better for us to just button down and... Um, them again. Although we do have top army, we can at least burn down this expansion. They might come for Rio, though. We can defend Rio. We should probably go after them next. But that kind of sucks. But yeah, I mean, this is a difficult game. Like, you were just so much the obvious game leader. I... <laughs> The way I figured it was that if you play correctly, you should skip labs and kill everything. I mean, we have to recover Brasilia now. I mean, Forbidden Palace is a nice wonder. It's, it doesn't have a unique Lux. Uh, no, I'm tradition. We need to delete some of these rows to save our gold per turn. But yeah, I'm actually tradition, not liberty. We'll take Salvador next turn. If there's any city we hold, we can hold Salvador. It's fine. Need to not waste roads. So maybe we pick up these ones. And we've got this worker here that can pick up a road as well. Yeah, I'm actually tradition. I went five city national colleges tradition because my capital was quite was very good at building settlers and I wanted to take all of the space. I thought I thought I'd try it. I mean I always say four or fewer expansions before National College's tradition. And this was a, a four expansions day. Because this thing is the fifth city starts a long way behind, but if you just send it the caravan, your first caravan, it's fine. If you don't send the fifth city any help, of course it's gonna be garbage. But if you just send it the the caravan, it's a perfectly fine city. The question is how we get happy now. This is why I burnt the Forbidden Palace City. Because I have no idea how to get happy from this. I wonder if this guy will trade us. Bobby. Where is he? He don't, actually doesn't have any luxes for trade. Of course he doesn't. So we probably need to invest in getting happy in a minute as well. Once we kill Brazil, I mean, we're going to raise Salvador. What we got in here, though? Borobador, Brandenburg, Chichen Itza, Colossus, Hang Gardens, Leaning, Stonehenge, Taj. I mean, we, we just cannot afford to keep Salvador. We'll be unhappy for life. <laughs> that unhappiness is killer. Sell a windmill. I'm guessing we're going to get barbs in our land, so let's bring this army back to go and deal with it. <laughs> About the best thing that we can do right now. And then, has the World's Fair ended yet? I didn't. Not, I did not notice it go. You went more unhappy after burning Forbidden Palace. Yeah, for sure. Salvador has a wonder too. The Great Lighthouse. That's interesting. Uh, Songhai is the only human player left in the game. Is he at war with us now? Oh no, we're just um we can just make peace with all the city states. That vegetable was friends with. We've still got all of this salt. And many tiles to repair. But we definitely did go unhappy for burning Chichin. Not Chichin, forbidden. I realise it'd be it would have been so valuable. Uh -uh. We can't even rip up this citadel because it's outside our territory now. It's fine. We wanted these roads, though, so we want to dig up that road. 
But yeah, kill Song High now or science rush it. Um, I don't know, actually. I We're turning around to do a little bit of simming. But I don't know how much overall simming we actually want to do. I, I am currently undecided. We clearly need happiness. Let's get a zoo. Maybe even actually just use our gold to buy a zoo somewhere. Got a three-ton zoo here. That's better than a public school at this point. Eight-ton zoo there. Six-ton zoo here. Eight-ton zoo here. <laughs> no, let's just grab a zoo. It was bad. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange situation, isn't it, Veg? Having um, being separated by so much land went down to the final one v one. I wonder if we actually could have paid for a city-state ally to handle this. Not sure. But we should actually use our general for some luxuries where we can. Take this truffles. That'd be good. Okay, we're up to minus 19. We have these city-state lancers. Oh, I didn't put this unit inside the city, which I should have done. Let's just do a lot of this. And we've actually got coal improved in Pyre's life, which is perfect. We need to keep bringing all of this stuff back to deal with the barbs. We knew this was going to happen, so this is fine. We definitely probably should burn down one of the Shoshone expansions. And actually, this general needs to get out of here. Because we need to go and um, general out these truffles. All these roads we don't own anymore, apparently. Okay. Okay. We're going to border go to the citrus in one turn. I wonder if that'll be happiness. Yeah, we just need to get rid of some more of these derpy roads. And that's okay. We can't remove this road, I guess, because it's out of our territory again. All right, well... I mean, we we just need to rip up a few more in and around about Rio. But yeah, Black Vegetable says... Yeah, I noticed that... That improved coal and felt very envious. Biblos had it too, but not enough people had industrialization early enough. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, of course, because you actually need other people to have industrialization in order to be able to... For the city-states to have the tech to improve the coal. We've got two movement points left. Let's heal this. And we can keep healing the Lancer, which we're doing. No production here. Just click courthouse and sell some stuff. Not a lot of other buildings here to sell, but we can sell whatever we can afford. Sao Paulo has Anchor Wat. Oh, no. <laughs> We're burning the Anchor Wat, huh? So this guy also went dynamite, I think. No, we're the only people with artillery. 1212, though. 1212. I feel like he's got... He's in here, teching for dynamite. Which means that artillery is probably not the right way to go, and that we should instead go for labs. I mean, we could try and burn his expansion, which is fine. We need to keep some workers around here. To dig up some of these more pointless roads. Are there any, is there one up here? Yes. Get rid of that. But yeah, Gwen says, The Black Vegetable, you're making this a very strange game with all these wonders not in your capital. Yeah, I know. It's so, so ridiculously good. I was hoping to take them all in the cap, but I mean, that really would have been wishful thinking. It would be nice to take that, though. Bring these things back and see if we can get rid of some more roads. Can we? No, we can't attack here. That's fine. We'll get happy. We'll find a way. Is there a road on this salt? No. There's a road here. Actually, it isn't a road here. We should put a road back here, actually, because we want to delete these when we raise Sao Paulo, Salvador. But we just, we just don't have the happiness to hold these cities. I mean, we're minus 18 right now. Like, how do we how do we hold them? A bit tough. And then this general can go get us the truffles. The question is now whether or not we go and... Oh, there goes the ideology. Songhai and freedom. Probably wanted autocracy anyway. There's a lot more happiness here. And we've got barracks and armories. We need to keep some of these roads, but not all. We 
We can keep this road that we built over to them, though. But Vegeta says, there's a tenant in aesthetics which boosts culture with 33% for each city with a wonder. So I would eventually get that, lol. <laughs> yeah, autocracy crush Songhai. Let's go. There's a big brain strat, yeah. I, I'm, I mean, I'm thinking we do go for autocracy and then try and get the Songhai. Do the best we can. These workers can come back to improve whatever gets pillaged. Although they haven't pillaged a lot apart from this ivory. Pretty sure that ivory pillage doesn't make a difference to us, though. I need to dig up some of these roads. And it's like 16 turns until we get Rio back. This kind of sucks. Finally build those trading posts, maybe? I mean, I think we need to burn the Songhai city. I feel like that is definitely a good choice right now. If we can. He's gone freedom. If we can burn the Songhai city, that sets them back for our push for bombers then. Because he can't harm us. So I'm pretty sure the play for us is to go burn their city. So I guess we just set up to do that. With what we've got left. And then we ourselves just push for bombers or something. Also, the capital did not have time to build all the wonders. I was a bit behind with the infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get why you wouldn't build them all in your capital. I assumed you were going to stop and then they just kept coming. Which, I mean, that's because you built them in expansions, which is kind of fun. Salvador, we need to sell another building. Granary. Get a bit more happy every turn. We got another, like, five happiness coming this turn. Yep, 13. City connection broken. Capital Kume and... Oh. Wait, what? Why is this city connection broken here? What? I don't get this. Oh, the road's been pillaged over there. Oh. Didn't even notice. Oh, we need to fix that. We got a lot of very inconsequential things pillaged. Black Vegetable says, I was actually hoping for a hard tourism win, to be honest, lol. That would have been funny. I give you that. It would have been funny. Sell the library. That'll save some gold. Keep saving gold. By removing roads. Keep bringing this general forward so that we can go take this truffles. Or, yeah, because our city's not in range. It would have to naturally expand to it. Move this road here. Remove this road here now. Rio's a nice city. It's a shame we have to wait another 11 turns before we can use it. I wonder if we could get away with sending a worker out there. That's a bit too ballsy, I think. We don't have a lot of science. So we need to bring all of these units up if we're going to go burn a city. I don't know what his army scores like. Press B. No. Uh, what's the advisor? V. There we go. Not sure if the Songhai Empire has any army at all. Interesting. Oh, anyway. Blackfish says, anyway, my untimely death has led to a timely bedtime. So good luck with the end game PC. I'll see you the rest tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for joining the stream, Veg, and thanks for playing the game. You, you were playing. You, you had a really, really good game there. It's, um, it's definitely the strength of your play that caused us to have to do this attack. So very, very, very good game. I don't know what you can do about it. Because in an ideal world, we would have teamed you properly with the Songhai. But the Songhai derped around a bit. So I don't really know in the end. But yeah, good game. Thank you very much for playing. All in artilleries. If anything, you made us do that, which I very much enjoyed. Yep, GG. Good night, Veg. Okay. And then we have to bring all of these units back. Ready for another push. Because this, art this artillery is doing nothing otherwise. And we need to make it useful. What else can we do? We can dig up this citadel now. Uh, no, we can't because it's just a citadel. We can't dig up any of these citadels. Just repair a tile. But it certainly don't, doesn't sound like Songhai was very ready for the war anyways. No, they sort of tried to do a bit of simming or something. I don't really get it. Uh, I would like to go and stomp him, but I don't really know how that's going to work. We'll see. I mean, the Songhai has got 900 gold, 77 pop on 5 cities with 44 techs. We're on 44 techs. So it's all even right now. All to play for. If we can burn a city down. And he's pretty much gone the same tech path that we have. 
Aside from maybe one more somewhere because he's up at navigation. We're going to try our best. I mean, even if we don't stomp him, we'll burn a city down. Is the plan. We won't cross the river yet. And then if we can burn a city down, we'll be all good. Because this city is very exposed down here. And Sao Paulo is about to get raised to the ground. There goes the porcelain tower, which we expected. Salvador on the capital city connection is now broken. We need to repair our road here. Um, oh. Where's the road that's broken? Yeah, road pillaged. Okay, we actually have to do a road. Move this road. Move this road. But if we can burn the city down, hopefully we can slow him down enough. That's the plan. I don't know how well that will work, but we'll try it. 12 unhappy still. Not a lot we can do about that until we build more stuff. We actually wanted to build factory here, not the artist guild. And we can maybe work public school slots so we can give up some food. One of these tiles we can probably give up. No, that's a starve. So we don't really want to give up that. But we can find something else to give up surely, like this one. Work a public school. That's zero food. In here, we really don't need to grow. So let's just give this up and work a public school. And we'll also work an unworked mine. Like that. Swap a grassland for that. And that's perfect. Oh, we can even work this tile now here. Yeah? No more growth for sure in this game. Absolutely not. So we can just work kind of what production we've got everywhere. Where we have it. There's unfortunately not a lot we can do here. This is everything that we've got. Same here probably. Oh, we're actually not working every single piece of production we can. Work a workshop like that. And now we're good. We can even just work science. No, this is actually stagnation. Okay. Need factories for ideology. And then that will give us the push we need for real bombers. This general still to go get the truffles. We can't do anything about Rio. This is why we're not keeping the cities. Just way too damn expensive. A river crossing here, eh? He's constructing a road. I mean, we want to attack this guy. We need to find out where the city is. Let's run this stuff over and see what we can do. Move up with the artillery. Move up with the worker as well. Not a lot we can do here, but wait. So we will, I think. And then we can bring a lot of this over. Unfortunately, we can't cross the river yet, so we'll wait. Heal here. Then I guess we're good. Yeah. Oh, no, no. This, yeah, this can't go anywhere. That's fine. This worker fixed some things. We need to get, we need to get this ivory fixed. That might be happiness. Might also not be. Maybe we don't even need factories. Maybe we just need more army. He's too slow. We could just build more army, but we are turning for schools now. We've got this spy in Washington that's building a zoo. He's not actually got a school in there. So we'll probably out sim him. We can peace Monaco. We can actually do some tribute as well. Didn't even realize we could do that. This is why I love the EUI screen. I'm not even really too worried about losing Rio de Janeiro here. As soon as Salvador gets raised, we'll be okay. <laughs> Let's just step forward and see what we can do. How unhappy does that make us? Only minus 16. Good. We can get some artillery in here. Maybe this one. I mean, we need to just get some ability to shoot. Maybe let's do this. Let's 
see what we can do. Yeah, we just need to get in shooting range. And once we get some roads up, that will better help us to do that. But now, though, we just need to cross the river and sit on the road with our artillery. We're going to try our best with what we've got. Production to Kume for sure. Rip up that road. Rip up this road. One more artillery to come over and we can still do the trading post. Workers are basically pointless here in the capital. We never ripped up that road. These, ro these roads, these workers are kind of pointless though. We're doing our YOLO attack. Apparently we're being commended for it. We should maybe build a little bit of army here. So that we can deal with... Uh... Anything that comes up. Let's just set all of this stuff up. Even if we can't do anything with it. Yeah, we need to push forward next turn. And then these workers... Ah, oh, here we go. We've got a Lancer that's fully healed. So this can come back and these workers can come down. And if any barbs do spawn, we can maybe distract. And then push to the next turn. We've got this artillery piece we need to defend, so we'll rush the cavern. I think. Yeah, we need to rush the cav up here. And then we've got this that needs to set up and then shoot. Maybe come in here. Yeah, he's got no defenses in here. Set up. And shoot. And we can get roads. Where can these all go? And then can we actually shoot from here? I think we can. Set up and shoot. Push forward. Push forward. Roads. And roads. We just need to really push here and just wait on the roads. We can wait here. We can probably, ju though, just sim now, maybe. Apparently, we can buy something with Faith. I don't know where. Oh. Rio got converted. Buy his life. What can we buy here? No buildings, so we don't we don't really care. Scott says, Warmongers are rejoicing right now. Yeah. Everyone who's here in chat who, who loves it when we Warmonger, well, here we go. We're doing it. Can't bombard anything, so we'll wait. Oh, musketmen have spawned in our lands again. They're going to get some right old pillaging done if we don't build a unit in here. We're actually building some calves. 1.81 required to get this one down. We can't actually fix that. Oh, well. We'll, we'll handle those musketmen. Most MP games, we're on the receiving end, so it feels good to be attacking. Yeah, it kind of does in a way, but I mean, I wouldn't say that we're always on the receiving end in a multiplayer game. We actually want to take this tile right here. The, um, we've been through a little bit of a bad patch, I would say, which has caused us to have a bit of a a biased view of how this stuff is working for us. But we've, in general, been actually on the good side of things like this. We just have been on a bit of a bad run recently where we've got a load some bad starts, some stuff where we've had runaway players that haven't been able to do a lot. That sort of thing. So it kind of feels good that we are indeed now on the correct side, but I wouldn't say that we're always on the bad side of things. That's not always on the good side of things. But yeah, we've had some unlucky games of late. Definitely. But we've got a good population now. I mean, we've got 102 pop. That's all we need. Just need to make sure not to get pillaged too hard by all these musketmen. <laughs> Which will be fine. Well, we got zocked. And we want to raise this for sure. And now what can we do here? OK, 
Okay. Hopefully he tries to retake the city. We're back to being mega unhappy again. Probably should try and work some public, some slots right now. Because we do actually have... How much is this a staff? No, workshop slot then. Heal here. Then we need to try and kill some more stuff. Yak says Gatling guns lol. Yeah, I know. He's got Gatling guns for defense and stuff. I mean, it's almost enough, to be honest, against what we've got. Because... I mean, he, I guess his main goal is just to defend all of his stuff. I'm sure we do have artilleries. But we're not going to be able to push much further now. Ban salt, I don't think so. He's got some stuff. We can kill it for a bit. We'll have this. Truffles, that brings us down a little bit. Rio really needs a courthouse, but it's still in resistance for seven turns. We have this Lancer that can come and defend a bit. I guess. But the fact that we keep capturing cities just means we're consistently behind the chains in terms of... we just give this up to the Barbarian so we can kill it next turn. Consistently behind the chains, uh, really happiness is sort of stopping us. But I mean, he is a little ways away behind now, so hopefully we're doing okay. And burning a city will be good because it leaves him on three. Even if we get into a forever war now, we could be okay. As long as we can get happy. It just means burning all of this nonsense. I would even... I even want him to take it back. If we can. Are you not, you're not going to rush his cap? I mean, I'm going to try and rush his cap, but I'm pretty confident that we can sim to bombers over him now. Three city, 67 pop. We've got schools and he doesn't have one in his cap. Pretty sure we can sim to bombers now to finish off the rest. But if we can't, I mean, yeah, we'll do what we can. Oh, is he going to take this back? I hope he does. So we need to push these artillery in and get them in good positions. But welcome to the stream, Yak. It's a shame about your war earlier. I, I mean, the, when the guy said he had four archers, that's honestly almost enough to defend something like a chariot rush. So I was a bit confused when he was asking irrelevancy, but he's clearly one of those players who just, you know, doesn't like to be in a game that he knows he can't win and wants to leave as soon as that happens. I mean, we can take some stuff here. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, humanism might be good. But I don't really know what was going on there. It's unfortunate that your chariot rush wasn't as super effective as it could have been. We're going to do our best, though, to do something fun. Kill this now. We can actually fix our ivory here. 26 unhappiness, sure. Is the world's fair somehow going? It's not. It's fine. Need zoos wherever we can get them. Or temples somewhere like here. Just build a courthouse. And then um, sell the university for gold. We can actually afford another zoo if we want it. I don't know where we we could build a zoo that where we're not building one. Here. Try and get happy. When we get autocracy, we'll get happy. But that's a long time away. Oh, salt has been banned. Oh, man. He, he didn't take six free units. Oh, dude. Oh, can we go oil now? We've been playing for flight, but can we just go oil? Maybe. I mean, we need oil. You're nine times between our cap and one close peninsula. You're 100%. Yeah. It's one of these where it's like tough to... It's tough to really do anything with it. You can sell the temple now. We need a free social policy from somewhere. 25 turns is a long way. We need to build some factories. We're actually not building enough factories anywhere. 13. How much is a factory in here? This is 8 turn factory. Why not? 
We sold our building here. Just wait. We don't need to do anything. But yeah, 10 unhappiness would be nice. Maybe we should just focus units here. If he's not done free infantry, we should maybe just focus calves and win. Rio in six turns. Jeez, this cannot come fast enough to get Rio on side. I mean, we're just struggling right now to get luxury. He's bombarding our worker. <laughs> Once we stop raising two cities, we'll be okay. We're just raising two cities right now. But we'll see where it can go with all of this anyway. Sim to oil of sorts. And we'll need a settler at some point when we're doing that to get our Great War Bombers in range of the rest of his stuff, but... We'll probably want to go for land ships. Good. Now minus 17. We've got some more enemy units here. We can kill that. And then push in. Then bring a Lancer forward to the front. Worker still getting shot by a frigate. We can't steal, which is good news. That means we're heading tech. Got some hussars here that can do stuff. Um, we need to set up everything that we haven't set up yet. All right, let's kill this Mandakalu. Like that. And then we can maybe just focus down... Yeah, let's focus down this next. Create some room for this artillery to push forwards. Let's get back here. There's no reason to stay up here. Got some more roads. Oh, Scott Nolly says, take us at winged hussar. Yes, we've got winged hussars. I know they're pretty cool, aren't they? Yes, take a sip of your beverage, Scott. Thanks for keeping me hydrated. Crossbows coming now. Kill this cavalry. We've improved some tiles, which is good. Guess it stops us from going unhappy. Yeah, we can even uh, get some mines down here. Spam some calves because we've actually got the time. I can't. Rio is still not out of resistance, which is ridiculous. This is why. Yeah, wing tassars are really cool. It's true. He's still pushing in here. We've got this cavalry that needs to get out here. Or it dies. The cars are still getting burnt. Sell the workshop. I don't know why this says put, put a road here. We've got a city connection to Rio already. Just need to make sure we're doing good stuff around here. Not enough unique luxuries. That's a problem as well. When we can delete some pointless roads near Almaty that we're paying for. Cap's actually starving. It's got minus two. We need to fix that. Probably means this. Yeah, this was pillaged. Okay. Well, we need to find that still somewhere. So something like that is minus one starve. And a minus one starve is fine, right? Yeah, 73 turn starve. Yeah, wing to stars are nice units. We need to heal now. I do like them when we get to use them. I mean, what do they do, actually? So they've got shock, embarkation, which medics what we took. They've got extra sight, which is nice. Can move after attacking. And an enhanced flank attack is quite powerful. We've got our city connections back as well. So hopefully our gold pattern not totally garbage. I would love to go and push this city. I don't think it's viable, but we'll go and push it anyway. The fewer cities we can leave them on, the better at lower cost to us. We need to figure out what we can kill again. Uh, we can try and attack this. We got like a fl have we got like a flanking attack bonus. No, we can maybe move one of these up into the city to try and kill this. Oh, didn't die. That's a shame. We can maybe try and get it next turn. We've got no way to to kill it either. We just want to try and chase it back. If we can. Our worker died. No. <laughs> He's killed our worker. I 
Artist Guild is done. I don't know why we even built this Artist Guild. It's not like we want an artist for anything. A writer would have been nice because that's at least culture to get an autocracy policy that we need. Like happiness or XP. Bring this forward to do some stuff. This frigate is just chilling off our coast. Can't really do anything around here while Biblos is hanging around. Yeah, we've got a lot of pillage tiles that we can't really do a lot with either. Hmm. Yeah, well, we got to heal and just wait. Keep selling buildings into Kaza. Maybe we can rip up some roads that we don't need. Like this road here is actually kind of useless now. So we can rip it up. And then the roads that we need are like right there. Oh, we've got a road there. Nice. So we got a road here. Oh, we do have a road here as well. I guess we need a road here if it's not dead. Ah, okay. It's fine. And we can rip up some more of these pointless roads. Like this one right here isn't needed. Save some gold everywhere. Solving the happiness issue a tiny bit at a time. Just go here with the artillery, honestly, and see what we can do with these and bring a new one across. Can't go anywhere else there. Healing, building some cav. Yeah, because in 23 turns, we'd like to take autocracy finisher. we got some more barbs here. There's barbarian cavalry this time. Probably just need to build units now. Some cavs would be nice because we still haven't lost any artillery. And if we do actually want a, a writer to push us forward a bit, we can maybe do this by doing this. Save us some turns of culture. And we've got a minus two staff, so we just need to solve that by doing this. That's perfect. I mean, actually, we just want to go production focus, right? So let it do its thing. Oh, no, this is so bad. I was going to let it do its thing, but it's not. it wasn't good. Like that. Yeah, minus one starve is perfect. Okay. Worker well, bombarded by a frigate. Sound of races. I think it would be okay to have Tagaza as a healing launching attack city. Yeah, but trouble is it's a massive drain on our happiness right now that we really do not need to have down there. We'll settle our own city later with a settler that's much closer that will be in range of doing actual bomber things. See where he's at. There's Jen. Okay, he doesn't have a lot here. So we should definitely push this. He's got some cannons. Is this a road? Oh, he's actually built a road here. Cool. Oh, that's nice. Need to just get some RT in the right spots. Anywhere they can be actually useful and ready to attack would be a plus. And this is a Lancer that can push up here next to the Gatling gun. We just need to kill some of his units so that we can push in with what we've got. Get rid of some more pointless roads. But yeah, I mean, while it would be nice as a bit of a staging city, we don't need it to be a staging city. We just need a si we just need roads and the ability to get there. And so that's what we're going to do right now is just do that. And use what we've got of our units to... I mean, we have to try and stave off rebellions a bit. No, we should just send this over to the front. Because if we can take Jen, the game's done for sure. Like, as much as he can build units, if we can just snipe Jen down, he's not going to have a hope in hell of matching our science or production into the late game as we take towards oil. That's pretty much the plan right now. And once we get ideology, we'll be in a good spot as well. Because we'll be able to... We'll be able to actually fix our happiness once we get ideology, hopefully. And once Rio comes onto our side, we can also build a courthouse there. But yeah, I, li I like the idea. And welcome welcome to the stream. Yeah, that got sniped. We need to set up all of this stuff. 
and just like shoot things. The Gatling gun's probably the biggest danger to us right now. Okay, the Gatling gun's now dead. Then we've got these lancers which can do damage. Uh, what can we actually attack with? We've got this, we've got this, we've got this. So something like the crossbow is a good candidate to die. And honestly, just push this artillery up here. Maybe a bit too ballsy, actually. Oh, well. It's generaling. Hmm, we should probably step back one, then. We'll just step over one. Still zone of control there. Set up. This is just a better choice to have in that spot. We'll move this one over where we can. Cavalry. Yes. Instant heal, please. Try and keep handling these barbs. Uh, yeah, let's just not let our capital starve. We lost this artillery. That was to be expected, I guess. We might have pushed a bit too hard here. We've actually got an instant heal if we were to take one extra damage. Not sure how we do that. We just need to shoot some units for a bit. He's a bit on the ascendancy. We can spam some calves now. Which we really should be doing. And then, yeah, the factory is done soon. We've got another cavalry to pull up. And we've got this one. Can't really do a lot. We need to kill this and then get in and take the citadel. Ideally. Probably something like this cavalry that can do it. I mean, we can take the Citadel next turn. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. We need to get in there, though, and take it. Keep getting pillaged. We can get rid of some of these roads. Bring the worker forwards. Oh, no, we got a couple of calves. It would be good to take the Citadel off of them. And all these workers that are chilling, I guess they can go to the front. Need to heal a turn if we can here. Gotta try and get our worker again. Hopefully he goes for that first. That'd be fun. And then we can... Uh, so we just need to be ready to first move, really. Not a lot to do here. Shoot with some of the stuff at the back, though, where we can. Oh, need to set up here and shoot. Village. Step back. Oh, okay. He's got himself trapped in here, then. Seems unwise. We attack this in any way. Oh, we actually can. Nice. We can go Lancer and Lancer here, but I don't think we need to. Just pull the cab up. He's got one move left. Our worker died. <laughs> I love the fact that he is just like totally chilling. Killing all of our workers in the back. Like, they're so hilarious. It's quite good, really. Leveling up for range, perhaps. Need to spam calves, I think. Probably could do with one artillery piece. Scott says, imagine being back in the 16th century and the Roman Empire invades your country with artillery. <laughs> yeah, sadly something, isn't it? Getting invaded in artillery in the 16th century. It's <laughs> 1560 AD. Classic grill, isn't it? That was work here. Rio is going to be ours next turn, which means we can actually annex it this turn. And then we want to go and build a courthouse. Here's a trick. Since the production comes to it at the start of the next turn, you can annex the city with one turn left to go, and then it becomes yours. And then you get the production from it over the uh, the turn end. So that's a nice trick for anyone who doesn't know. You actually want to annex your cities with one turn to go. Uh, all of this salt is an absolute dream. Thank you very much, the black vegetable. Let's just work all of this. Wow. This city is so good. Like, it's unbelievably good. I'll bail one turn of courthouse as well. We'll get some ridiculous amount of production and we'll, like, one or two turn one. Huh. Since he was settled on coal. Lol. That's good. Has he built a... 
Oh, uh, we're, we're spying in Washington, not Gal. What an idiot. Can't believe I haven't been spying, Gal. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, I've been spying in the wrong place the entire time. I've been sitting here like, what a plonker. He's not got schools. Oh, man. <laughs> what an idiot I am. I've been spying in the wrong capital. I, I thought our opponent had no schools this entire time. And I've actually just been chilling, spying on the wrong place. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. I mean, we don't really need to slam here. We can just artillery shot. Or do we just slam? We'll just slam. Fine, whatever. We need, we need to get this artillery in the water. But yeah, as soon as Jen dies, we've won this game for sure. Which is good news. But yeah, artillery invasion, 1560 AD. He's not got a lot left. I've crashed, I think. In-game chat. So I need to restart Civ. Oh. We're just chilling in game chat for a second while we get this game reloaded. Karen says, a nation of heretical witches. Uh, I mean, I think all we're about is war. Just we are some big time warmongers in here right now. Oh, question. If anybody has got any ideas, by the way, I do need to set up a good idea for a... Uh, a two month subscriber badge right now what i was doing is the um because the first month subscriber badge is the p what i was going to do is every month add a letter until it became pcj law which is what's going on right now but i don't know if chat's got any ideas of what you would like for the two month sub badge because it's now been a whole month since we started streaming so i have to get some of these things set up And then I need to send the lobby link. Scott says, perhaps a camel archer. That'd be interesting. I mean, we could theme it about Civ. Could be interesting. I was hoping... One of the things I wanted to do was... Because um, we're going to start... Once the Warhammer series starts... And by the way, I'm going to upload the first series of the Warhammer... Warhammer 2 series tomorrow... Which is going to be exciting. Playing a Bretonia campaign, which is kind of cool. Which I'm, which I'm, which I think is going to be a lot of fun because we're going to try and branch out a little bit more. I don't want to theme too much of the stream around Civilization Five, but Yeah, oh, Scott says, Warhammer 2 content. Yes, I've, I've been watching Legend of Total War exclusively for ages. Um, yeah, it's kind of... 
I watch a lot of Legend of Total War as well when I want to watch Warhammer content. Legend is definitely the person I go to. I can't say that we'll be doing so much cheese as Legend. I want to try and, um, while I'm learning the game, I want to try and play the battles a little bit more po properly. And because we are Bretonia, we got a lot of good cavalry to use. So I'm pretty excited to finally introduce Warhammer. It's going to be... I want to actually bring in another variety game as well, but depending on if I have time, because what I don't want to do is hold back the Civ content, because clearly that's why everybody's here to start with. Uh, but yeah, I've got some ideas for some other... Uh, variety or well, another variety game that i want to play as well and we'll see how that sticks it's one of my personal favorites i haven't played for it played it for a little while but i think it could be fun to play that as well but bobby is being so complimentary i'm feeling i'm gushing right now very nice our army's not that much bigger now we need to build military asap this production's not top though our production's top which is good news but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play some Warhammer 2. And then that way I can roll it into Warhammer 3 when November comes around. Because that is a game I absolutely want to play. 100%. Let's kill this Lancer if we can next turn. So I'm really excited to do that. I want to see how it goes. Who knows? I might be a good Civ YouTuber, but a terrible Warhammer YouTuber. We don't know yet. And we're about to find out. So I'm pretty excited for that. See, he's, been, he's just had his city profited by America over the end turn. It's kind of funny. We need to uh, pillage here. Oh, that didn't die. I'll quickly shoot that, and then we can shoot this. Can't actually shoot here. Don't really want to get hit by the city. And we can choose our ideology, which is clearly going to be autocracy. And we can take... What do we want to take? Probably happiness, first of all. And then second of all, we want to take... Uh, maybe... I mean, mobilization is not going to be a thing. So it wants to be wounded military units inflicting more damage. Warhammer streams, perhaps, has got... Yeah, I mean, if if people are enjoying the Warhammer content, I want to do... A, I would do a little bit more variety... The streams will stay Sif for now, but um, if War Warhammer is something that people are enjoying on the YouTube, I will start streaming some on the Twitch as well. Again, as I said, I don't want it to take away from what we're doing with Civilization content. So I want to be really careful about that because Civ is the main game. It's why everybody's here and it's what I'm best at. So we're going to we're gonna try a bit. Yeah, two turns on the courthouse and then we'll be happy. That's perfect. Then we can just queue up a, a circus afterwards or something. And wait here. But anyway, Noxus says, we gaming? Oh yeah, we gaming. This is this is the final kill. We win this game if we make this kill. This is what this game is about to boil down to right now. And I reckon if we kill Jen, we win. Because our opponent's not going to be able to keep up with our sim if we do that. We're going to be able to just cruise to bombers. Without a care in the world. That's what I'm thinking. That's what we're going to try and do. Now in here, we need to maybe pillage and move. We need to get some pillages off down here. Pillage and move. Pillage and stay there. Maybe there's another pillage. And then we need to get within shooting range. So we need to set up. And we need to... What do we need to do? We're not within shooting range here because we don't own this tile. That can get in range though. And then we just need to pull all of these units forwards a bit. This can actually take another promotion and shoot the cavalry. What's over here? Oh, he's got his own artilleries now. Let's just chill off the coast for a bit. We might be able to just brute force his city down, which will be exactly what we need. Got another scientist too. Bowl for oil. And then we can come back and try and just do like land ships or something. Gimmicky. Maybe. So where's our oil? Lots of oil everywhere. Good. Have we got any workers to improve it? This one here. And then this one here. 
And then we need that oil node. The, so we got four nodes. This We need to send maybe one of these workers up to get this oil node. And then this worker can come back over and get the remaining one. There's our scientist. We need to just build a couple more uh, calves for now. And pull the artilleries over. It's a long, long way to run with these units. We can take this road off as well. There's a road up here that we haven't gotten rid of. I oh, know we have gotten rid of it. Oh, we can't get rid of roads anymore because we're... Um... Need to try and build some roads in this guy's territory. Where can we go? We can't really pillage, so we're just going to have to wait for a moment. We don't want him to kill all of our melee, though. I don't think we've got any more coming. Uh, we've got a couple more calves that are coming soon. But yeah, we can't afford to lose all of our melee, particularly these two. And we'll wait here, and we can embark a arty somewhere, which would be quite nice. But yeah, the idea now is just to snipe down Jin. I'm pretty sure if we do that, we win. Okay, that's run away. I need to go here. Oh, um, shift P. Okay, and then we need to bombard. Oh, we can't see the city. Uh, and then what we want to do is we need to pull this over. Set these up. And just set up there, maybe. Up here. And then this can shoot this. The profit. I just need to get this cavalry back. We've got some more cavalry that have been built. Just need to travel distance. And spam more cavalry. And the idea is... Now, yeah, now we're at one unhappiness. Perfect. So we're nearly happy. There's this worker that needs to go for the oil that's here. Hopefully it doesn't make us... No, it doesn't make us unhappy, which is good. More oil. And down here come for more oil. Where's the rest of our oil? I forgot where the last copy was. Sorry, done. Good. Oh yeah, this copy that we're working on. But yeah, then one of these cavalry we need to get right up on this hill and then that'll be able to capture the city. So we do want to run it back as soon as we get the chance. Next turn, we're happy. Okay, so we need to actually get vision here. We'll come in and we'll pillage and then we'll just um, do some shooting. Take a volley here. And then, yeah, set up an attack. Get right there. Jen is down. And then we can just shoot this musketman down here. Let's need a military unit in range, and we'll get there soon enough with the cavalries that we've got. It's only going to be a couple of turns travel time for all of these. Cavalry, build another one. Another cavalry. Now that we got a circus here and we're happy. Probably just another cavalry. Gonna have to burn one more city. That's okay. I don't know why I'm taking medic and all of this stuff. But we're doing good. City state continues to just pillage around Pi's life. Oil still a long, long way away. His artillery spawned there. Uh, I need to set up here. <laughs> nice. What do we need to do now? We get some more cavalry around. Yeah, we got loads of cav coming now. We've perhaps overbuilt a bit. Here. Let's bombard that. Got another general. 
Have we got any... Anything here? We should be able to get this now. Let's go improve his tile. It's good. Build another cav. Another cav, for sure. Kill this thing. Oh, we can't even do that. That was a waste. And then we've got a writer that we want to bulb. One turn until we get that autocracy policy to be happy. And we can actually just uh, go towards combustion. This is seven oil. We might as well just general it. Stars now. So we can do... We can build tanks as soon as we get the opportunity to do so. But we need... Yeah, so this guy's cabs out in front of his city. All we need to do is take it and we win. We're there. And then next turn. Let's see what we can do here. First of all, we need to just attack Jen. Uh, set up here. Shoot. I guess just shoot some of this stuff. Uh, can we kill this? Almost. Get into shooting position. We might high roll. We did high roll. Perfect. Heal here. So we're now next to a city. We can take happiness. And we're slowly breaking in. We should be able to get this RT now. Now that we hold this tile, we should be okay just to get Jen as long as we can get next to the city. That's kind of the goal. And we just need to spam some more cavs for a bit. We actually could do with another artillery. And we got another we got gifted another Hussar, which is cool. We actually do need more artillery now. Not a not a one turn thingy. Not a one turn cab. We need a one turn RT. For sure. Motor Hussar. Take open terrain 2 or something. Got another promotion here. Perfect. Wing Tassar says so got yes, another Wing Tassar indeed. Looks like Jen's going to go down. Hey, we've got Railroad. Is there any way we can make this scientist faster? Where's this coming from? Kume. Uh, we can actually make it faster, you know. Six turns. Perfect. Okay, well, that'll do. Phillips's road. And then we can next turn. He's going to slam this down. Or at least just walk a unit onto it. Okay, perfect. Now we just need to kill this. Oh, he's done a swap. raise sell the school and we've got another cavalry here take a couple of calves or something when we can pull it forward Let's just GG this guy. GG. Thanks for playing. Oh. Oh, um, hold on. I think you're talking, but I've got you coming through the wrong thing. Hold on. No, I can't actually hear you if you are talking. I don't know why. Oh, I can't hear this Bobby is back player. Oh, there we go. Well, chat, that's it. Victory. We have broken our losing streak and we've gotten a nice win here. Let's take our Civ screenshot quickly and then we'll take a screenshot of the demographics like that for the record wins.
Got this one done. Ah, Drosswin says, nice win. Thank you very much. Thanks for the GGs, Knox and Scott. Thanks for the GGs, everyone in chat who's just come in. Nightbot is really loving it. He's saying GG a lot, Nightbot. Guren says, PCJ swag. I like that. I like the PCJ swag. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I changed the resub emoji to PCJ swag. <laughs> in case anyone didn't see. It's kind of fun. But yes, FJ Sports says GG, another W for the spreadsheet. Yes, another W for the <laughs> What's the PCJ? Where, what's the PCJ norm emoji for, Noxon? I only ate right at the start of the stream. And I don't think I embarrassed myself with a strudel this time. <laughs> but yes, uh, uh, and I, we say another W for the spreadsheet. I call it a W for the spreadsheet. We've lost seven in the last eight or something. Granted, we were doing pretty well before that. So it's really good to break the dark. Of course, we had a couple of weird games where some odd stuff happened. But yes, we have won this one. So it's good. But yeah, just warming up the emote. Sound of Rain says, is it an NQ game? No, it's not. I play in a, a vanilla Brave New World Discord server. Oh. And let me uh let me just drop this in here. Exclamation mark multiplayer. Oh my god, I'm being I'm being really bad at clicking. Exclamation mark multiplayer. I play in this this Civilization 5 Discord server. It's really cool. A lot of the best players of vanilla Civilization 5 play in here right now. That's where I play. Uh, I need to turn yields back on because I've bought this one up a bit. In fact, I should pro probably just automate this while we sit here for a bit. But yes, yeah, so I play in that server. That's where I played in. Um, it's where, it's where, yeah, a lot of the, pretty much all the best Brave New World vanilla players play right now. There are some fantastic Civ players in in there. Some that are plenty better than I am. So yeah, those, this was a fun game. Yeah, we we got the win today, which I'm really really pleased about. One W for the spreadsheet to add up. It's cool. Five City Tradition all before National College. All in artillery, skipping public schools to go kill Brazil. And then we were able to just flow that through into a kill of the Songhai, who got basically too carried away. And, I don't know, built wonders and stuff instead of building military? Not entirely sure. But we were able to flow that into a kill. Once we killed this city, we were fairly certain we could beat him to bombers or something. But once we take this city, the game's over and done with. So game over. But that does bring us to the end of today's stream. I'll say the end of today's stream. The end of today's gameplay portion, at least. We are, I'm not going to say I'm going to do much else. <laughs> but, yeah, we're done with today's stream. It's the end of the multiplayer game. This is the time where, if you've got any questions to ask, Rafi says WP. Thanks, Raf. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I put that one in there. <laughs> if you didn't know, chat, every time someone says WP, Nightbot responds with easy. <laughs> I totally forgot, I forgot that was there. And that. <laughs> oh, Bobby Bobby joins the stream. Welcome, Bobby. Says GGWP again, man. Thank you very much, Bobby. Yeah, this was a really, really difficult game. It was tough for us because this the black vegetable, if they play this well, they can slaughter us. So I think we picked the correct attack. There's no way that I can afford to attack at crossbows and you can't join me with frigates if we go at crossbows. So, and if black vegetable plays this properly, veg should skip labs and kill us both, which means that we can't wait until oil but that we can't do crossbows. So the only timing for me was artillery and the only timing for you was frigates. And so we did a good job in the end. You definitely helped me kill him. Maybe you helped me too much. I don't know. Um, but your your frigates in this war were a big, big help actually. Made sure that we could end Brazil without having to worry about it. And then, yeah, I was unhappy for a long, long time at like minus 23 because we had to wait 16 turns for Rio de Janeiro to flip over and build a courthouse. But once we got it built, it was fine. We did make a bit of a blunder. We burned Forbidden Palace and Globe. <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, you built, you burned Temple of Artemis, Bobby. <laughs> Temple of Artemis was this city. And then I burned the Great Lighthouse over here as well. Apparently, Black Vegetable built a world wonder in every city. Yeah, I don't want to back down from my word. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's exactly it. Like, it's, um, it's, uh, 
it's something you need to make sure you always keep your word if you say you're going to help me help to be honest i thought that you'd played it quite correct because the time that your frigates turned up was a little bit was a little bit <laughs> um raffi in order to allow you to place that comment i had to permit the term isis so please don't make me regret it but i, I might reban it again <laughs> But yeah, yeah, you said you thought I thought you I would kill the city anytime. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can't. It's, I, just, I just thought it was quite funny. The the really strong world wonders that we burned down as part of this game. We burned Globe. We burned Forbidden Palace. We burned Great Lighthouse and we burned Temple of Artemis. So I thought it was quite hilarious. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> Rass says I can't promise for everyone else. <laughs> yeah, we burned a lot of cultural heritage that time. So yeah, look, look, look at our one tile. This was that. Remember, everyone, someone said in chat. This one Brazilian tile that was just like saved. We've got it right here. OP tile right there. Totally worth it. Ours. But yeah, so this was an interesting game. I mean, it's, it's difficult for you because obviously you can't hold the cities and that's what you want. But I, to be honest, I thought for you, if you had managed to have... Because the frigates came just late enough, I thought that you'd manage to get through and maybe build some science infrastructure and hope to out-tech me. But perhaps you just didn't have the tech firepower in the end or something. But Bobby says, yeah, you deserve that win for sure. Th th thanks, Bobby. I mean, there, obviously there's things you could have done to stop me. But the whole reason I attacked was just to burn this city. I actually wanted to rush for bombers and land ships, which is what I was doing right now. And I was going to back myself to, to out-tech you to those instead, which I think I would have done. But yeah, he said, so greedy taking happiness policy. But damn, you stomped out Brazil like nothing. Me too, for that matter. So you should rule the world, LMAO. Yeah, thanks. I mean... I, I will say that, I mean, the Brazil attack wasn't on a knife edge, but if Brazil had been preparing for three more turns, that war would have been so much more expensive. Like, your involvement was really kind of crucial for allowing me to stroll in, but it wasn't easy. Brazil put up a fight, but in the end, they just didn't have quite enough cavalry to get the job done. But yeah, so that was that. And we managed to round out this game. And of course, the irrelevant war between Ethiopia and Lord knows who was in here. They sort of ear warred very early on turn 30. It's a shame for that to happen with Yak. But um, yeah, and then America, who unfortunately lost connection. America sounds like a decent player. I don't know how good. Apparently, they're a pub stomper. So they're obviously decent because they can stop pubs. But how good they are in the context of this server, I don't know. America was a decent player. They would have threatened the game threatened to do the game to win the game and that might have changed what i would have done but they unfortunately lost connection and had to sub out and then yeah it was left in a three but three way between us brazil and the song high we did all in all in rts on brazil succeeded and then we kept flowed through our rts intending just to burn this city so that we could confidently tech to bombers and then kill with bombers but then when we realized all the units had died we just pushed through to gen and took it as well Bobby says, the correct play for Brazil is to kill you and then just defend from my frigates. Probably. I don't know, to be honest. I'm pretty sure... I mean, the correct play for Brazil is probably just to defend artillery. Honestly. Because they've got the production to do... I mean, actually, maybe it isn't. Especially if they get 2v1. This is exactly why I asked you to join me, Bobby. Because if Brazil does the correct play and defends artillery, I need your help to finish the job. Like, you burning this city would be because the way i walked into this city in here but if brazil was actually prepared it might have been a, a bit harder for me at which point you your contribution would have been so vital to actually killing brazil otherwise they would have just defended quite easily from the artillery push probably so yeah i think the play for brazil is honestly to try and def the play is to get gro great wall first i guess although i don't know that they missed great wall that much but it gave me the confidence to come and attack them which is an interesting point about great wall like, if you build Great Wall, it gives you the confidence to attack someone else sometimes because you know they don't have it. But yeah, and so the correct play for Brazil is to try and turtle down and defend both attacks, which they have to assume are coming. Like, if you're that much of a runaway game leader, you can't assume that you're going to get to... You can't assume that you're going to get to... Ghouls even, probably. The correct play might have been just to, yeah, like, come and expo me. But to be honest, Brazil can't kill me. This is the thing. It's much better for me to kill Brazil than for Brazil to kill me. And I was playing on that. Because, I mean, look at our empire. Brazil scouted this whole thing. Brazil knows the best they can do is take this. And then they're going to get blocked at choke point, choke point. 
and that's going to be really tough. So Brazil knows they can't kill me. And so the point was is for us to then try and go and kill Brazil and hope they weren't too well prepared. But if they were prepared, we definitely needed your frigate help, which is why we asked and which is why it's the right idea for you to join in. The difference was is that you probably just needed a bit more sim and for this war against Brazil to be a bit more costly for me to put you in a good position. Because your position wasn't bad. You just fell behind a bit because I was able to not walk in, but go in relatively easily and then burn one of your cities, which I guess was the difference. But yeah, it's tough. It's tough for Brazil. Anytime you're in a teaming situation, it's tough. You have to go out and be aggressive. The, honestly, the better play might have been to just RT rush, like maybe come and RT me and like frigate Gao. No, you can't even frigate Gao because Gao is unfrigatable. So I don't know what, what the play is. Maybe it is just defend frigates, but it's hard to build a navy and a land army like that. It's really difficult. If you can cobble together like five frigs and two privateers, and then and then maybe build enough army to defend here, that could force a win. But yeah, it was definitely a gamble. Either you lose to Brazil, or we lose to Brazil, or you join the war and then we sort it out. Yeah, weird game. Games end up like this sometimes when you get a massive salt runaway leader. I'll tell you what I'm pleased by, though, is that Salt Player didn't actually win the game. That's the thing that I am probably happiest about the most, because it so often ends like that. Salt Temple of Artemis wins the game. That's the way a lot of Civ games go. And, I mean, this cap was ludicrous. Like, are you serious? Three Salt, two Plains Horses, one Plains Iron, a Hill Iron, a Granary Resource, and four Civil Service Farm Tiles? Like, What? It's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah. But if we if we were managed if we'd managed to burn down a couple of Brazil cities between us, that would have put Brazil out of the game as well. So we did the right thing to attack. 100 percent this was the right thing to attack here. I am definitely sure of that. And I think we found the correct attack too. If we wait, we get killed. 100 percent Because the correct thing to do in Brazil's situation is to not never build labs. All they gotta do is kill both of us. They can kill me with bombers and then you with bombers and that's pretty much game over or they can get me with great war bombers honestly and then you with real bombers later or battleships or anything they want so i think we did the correct play we found the correct attack and it worked out for us and it worked out better for me so <laughs> i'm thankful but yeah you played a good game it was it, it could have been a toss-up between us it just depended on how costly the war was on both sides i think in the end tombuck 2 and this city down here just needed to be a bit better and then that would have been good but your land looks tough should we look at your land actually before we go Let's do that. Let's check out your land. See if there's anything we could have done here. Because your sim was competitive as well. Your sim was impressive. I almost didn't go artilleries because of how good I thought your sim was. Like my, I mean, we, we did okay as a sim as well. Not, not to pat myself on the back, but it's just that Brazil's was so ludicrous. Anyway, Bobby says, sure, I take any tips on how you would like to, like to play for this. Yeah, I'll just have a quick look because I like to have a look as well and see how everybody could have done better. So we'll, we'll take a quick peek at this and then we will close this game down and end the stream. We'll perhaps check out Rough Mercy's stream for about 5 or 10 minutes before we go. If Rough is still streaming, let's have a look. Jeez. You've got it bad here. You really do have it bad. The problem is that, like, Gal sucks. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Did you build Petra at least? Yeah. I mean, with, with a city like Gao, I'm sure it's got to be all in Petra. Otherwise, this game is dead. But yeah, Gao sucks. So this is a great job from you to actually make this work. Because Gao is garbage. Like, it is 100% garbage. Tombuck 2 is definitely correct. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have settled Tombuck 2 anywhere else. So you're, you're good there, for sure. And then, you can't settle anything up here. I don't know whether or not you moved your capital. If you did, I would have actually probably settled this canal. There doesn't seem to be anything to lose by settling the canal. And then, because you... I mean, you can probably reach your capital anyway, so maybe you don't have to. You settled on spot. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how I would have approached it. I would have been tempted to settle this canal. Because what I see when I... Actually, what I see when I see this land is I'm like, can you go around the top? Don't know. But if I've got a canal capital, at least I know I can get cargo ships from both sides. Then, is Jen settled on a luxury? It's on silk. I would definitely have settled Jen Coastal. 
because you can send trade routes between Jen and Gal. You get... So the interesting thing about this is that when you only have two connected cities like this, you only get two cargo ships because you can only send them back and forth. If you settle Jen on the coast, you gain four extra cargo ships possible because you can send two Jen, two, and then from Jen, you can send two more. So you get loads of extra cargo ships possible by settling Jen on the coast. So I would honestly have just placed it right here, even though it was next to Antananarivo. You still get all of this river. You're still in range of the, the silk that's right here. You're still in range of a couple of nice hills and you've got the incense. It's probably a better city down here, but car goes. And then actually you probably go right here so that you can get a fish. You go off river, you suffer the consequences. And then I think you are right. You just have to find another city down the river here because you can't get another one up here. That's what I would have done. I don't know if anyone else would have done anything different. Tombok 2 is definitely correct. Gao, I may have settled the canal. And it would have been fine, actually, because this is Plains Horses. It's actually fine to settle a canal on Plains Horses, even though you don't know that at the time, but it doesn't actually cost you a lot to do that. And then, yeah, you get this, and maybe you think about building... Because this city is only good if you get Petra. So you did the right thing by building Petra and Gao as well. And so it's, it's probably like three cities, Petra Rush in the capital, and then found a fourth city after the National College somewhere in here. And I don't know where yet. Like somewhere around this general area is what I would do. And yeah, the point about the cargo ships is very important. One of the most important things about being coastal is to get yourself that third coastal city that can send trade routes to the capital. It's so powerful because it gives you access to four additional cargo ships. You'll only be able to build three of them with tech. But if you get something like Petra or Colossus, you can build all four. And that's why it's so important to get that third coastal if you can. And there's nothing wrong with settling this city coastal right here because you even get the horses look you get a fish you get the bison you keep all of your luxuries you get a nice long river with double wheat still and a couple of hills just to make sure that you've got some production so this can yeah this can be on the coast but it's really interesting to look at start this is definitely hard you got one of the toughest starts on the map america has america's got this map is ridiculous there's so much space for everyone it's unreal apart from these two so i can see why they ward unfortunately but yeah, this is kind of crazy. There might be space for everyone here because if, if these guys stay coastal, they can make it work. But yeah. Kind of but look at look at the space of America as well. America had a nice game. A nice game set up here. Truffles, ivory, cotton. They might be struggling though without enough luxuries. America. So they might have struggled to keep up in the sim race, but they got oh, they got Sinai as well. But yeah, this is an interesting episode. You did very well on the Empire that you've got, I must say. This was a, this was a really good sim, Songhai. All things... Given, given the cities that you ended up with, this was really good. So I like it. I'm, I'm very much impressed. Given the cities you end up with, this was great. Better city placement could have made this a fantastic sim. And then you may well have won the game. But yeah, that's really good. Nice job. Anyway, that is it for us analysing this game. So thank you very much for watching, everybody who joined this stream today. This has been a fun one, and we got the W. So happy, happy me, happy us. Great to get another W back in the win column and break our a little bit of a losing streak. Bobby says, you two take care, man. Yeah, take care, and thanks for the game. Really fun to play that one. Scott, yeah, thanks for the GGWP, indeed. Our next stream, everybody, we will be back on Tuesday night. 6.30 UK time, 7.30 European time, um, 1.30 New York time for the next stream. That'll be on Tuesday. And then, yeah, so that'll be our next stream on Tuesday. That'll be when we're here again. We'll be playing some Deity single player Brave New World Civilization 5. So if you've got any ideas for what we should do as part of that game, do feel free to leave them in our Discord. Do feel free to leave them in our Discord or you can just turn up at the start of the stream and make the suggestions. We always do a raffle of everybody's suggestions to see what we'll do. So we'll see what we come out with for Tuesday's game. That's when we'll be next here. We will be releasing, hopefully, I'll be able to start a new YouTube series of Civilization 5 soon against Dirty AI. Hopefully look out for that at the start of the next week. I'll be releasing our first episode of the Warhammer 2 series tomorrow on Saturday or today if it's a bit late for you. So if you're interested in Warhammer, do look out for that one on the YouTube channel. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'm just going to see if there's anyone we can raid now. If there's someone I know playing Civilization 5 that we can raid, we'll do a quick raid. I'll only be in the chat for about five minutes because I don't have a lot of time. 
but I'll be in for about five five minutes or so checking out what everybody else is doing as well. So we're going to go raid Rough Mercies. If anyone doesn't know, Rough Mercies is another Brave New World Civilization 5 streamer. Plays a lot of multiplayer, so if you enjoy multiplayer content, Rough is a very good player. Knows an awful lot about Civ 5. He would come recommended to me because I actually watch Rough stream too. All right, we'll end the stream there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you Tuesday, 6.30 UK time. Goodbye for now. No need to join the raid, by the way. If you if you don't want to, this is always voluntary, but I'm just going to go hang out there for a couple of minutes. Uh, we'll go check out Ruff if anybody wants to come check out Ruff as well. So I will see you then.